playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone, and then boom! With Jason Ross. No, he didn't! Yes, he did! Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Well, good morning, and uh, hello. Great day, 70 degrees on the uh, the weather report. Good morning to everybody on the YouTube. Good morning to everybody on the text line. Good morning to what we, you know, we interact a lot with the text line and the YouTube, but I don't say this enough. Good morning to the vast majority of you that are listening on your radio somewhere. That's that. I know, right? Listening to the car, listening at home, listening on your smart speaker. Maybe the app. uh, On the app. And for those of you listening on your smart speaker, let me just say, Alexa, what's the weather like? If that works, just let me know. I'm I'm always curious. Like, (laughs) Like, in my house, if that happens, we have like 17 stupid Alexa things. They all like respond at once and it's like this cacophony of echoing alexas did you really get the weather alexi's alexi thank you be weird but, if they had different weather though it'd be weird if like i'm just waiting one time for her to be like no i will not do that day not in the mood not in the mood not happening what have you done for me lately yeah you're so needy i work and work all day long and then you uh there is something weird going on with Alexa at our house, though. So we, our TV downstairs, we have a, um, we have a, like an uh, uh, an auxiliary speaker underneath the TV, like a, uh, it's like a, oh, oh, I don't know, like a long rectangle, like a sound bar, the sound bar, but it's um, it's by this company called Sonos, and the sound bar is connected. It's like smart speaker connected, right? Which is great. And it works great, and it's awesome. My dad said I just set off his Alexa. Thanks. <laughs> More on my dad Happy in a second. Day after you <sighs> right, that's probably what it was. So I don't know how this has happened, but the, the first time this happened, I was actually in England. And then this happened again last weekend. I forgot to bring it up. Like, my wife would just be sitting there watching TV with without kids. In this case, it was with the kids. And then all of a sudden, like, heavy metal starts blaring through the speaker. And she's like, what? And it's loud. And so she'll call me like, what is going on? Are you doing this? And then I go to my Spotify. I'm like, I'm not connected. I have no idea what's going on. And so she has. And then it turns into, no, seriously, stop playing dumb. Are you (laughs) you doing this? 100% right. Are you doing what? And my wife's version of what you just said is very simple over the years. It's, are you being dumb? Are you being dumb right now? Yeah. Which is her way of saying, are you screwing with me because I'm not in the mood? Stop being dumb. Stop being dumb. So I don't know. Somehow somebody, remember, uh, what was, was it Poltergeist? That's a poll if it is. We're like, wasn't it Craig T. Nelson and his neighbor yes. that each had the matching remote controls and they were, yeah, it's kind of like that. But I don't know who the hell it is. There's a ghost in the machine, man. Meanwhile, we did have sushi with, uh, <laughs> I took my dad to sushi last night with my daughter. My son had his uh, end of basketball season banquet, and uh, hey, he got teammate of the year. Hey, hey that's cool. It was cool. Uh, I was not there for it though, so it was okay. But if he is truly the teammate of the year, he would give the trophy back to somebody else. I guess they didn't get that. They you can get a trophy for that. You got like a little certificate. No speech. No speech. No, not no, not for him. No speech. If they'd asked him for a speech, no speech. The rest of you are trash. Yeah, you guys are all trash, and you need to shoot the ball the right way. Thank yeah. you. Good night. Yeah. San Diego High School football rules. <laughs> yeah. See you next year. Um, Have a rad summer. The great thing about going to <laughs> something like that with my dad and my daughter is that my dad... I grew up and he was very stoic and very like, uh. 
And then, uh, despite the sound, uh, effect, yeah, yeah, despite the sound effects we have now, my dad is very, uh, very. You know, he'll talk. He'll, you know, he'll laugh. He's very, very. Uh, he's, 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 I don't. Know, I wouldn't say jolly, but just jollier than he used to be. Right. He was naked at the gym yesterday when we <laughs> checked in on him. Yeah, we had a conversation about that too, which I don't like being on the radio. That didn't go well for me. So. Uh -huh. My daughter, on the other hand, if you hooked up electrical wires to her lips, she could power a small town. And to just sit back and watch the two of them, because my dad is gen genuinely interested in what my daughter is talking about. I, if I'm being honest, you're here, on your phone. So TikTok is the thing that your kids are doing. I'm interested. Sticky talky. I'm interested about 13% of what my daughter talks about. Like, there's some nuggets in there, but a lot of it is, well, Jason said to Bernie, and then she went over and told this guy, and then, you know, my teacher was like, and I always, as you know, it's kind of like the old Chappelle skit, the whole wrap it up. Like, I've literally gotten my phone, my daughter, she was sitting right here, you got, you'd laugh, because as soon as I pull my phone out and I, I give her a look, she knows exactly what I'm doing. I have a timer that's preset to a minute, and I just go like this. I go, you got to... We have this conversation all the time about budgeting your words, which is funny coming from me and my job. But I always tell her, look, if you are constantly like, we'll pick her up and her, her brother from school, she will go the whole 20 minute ride home, like literally, and we'll still be going as we walk in. My theory and my wife agrees is that part of the reason why Mason is so laid back and not talkative is because he's had a spokesman his whole life. He's had a, personal PR spokesman that wants to jump in and answer everything. And, and he doesn't have to talk. He can just uh, 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 the whole time. So to see my, <laughs> my daughter just going, uh, I mean, proms coming up. Uh, she hiked a couple days ago with some friends at a mountain. Uh, she drew a kitty cat, whatever it is. And she's just going, my dad is just like, did it really? And then, she got my dad going on like telling stories about how he and my mother met and and my and my daughter's just like, oh my God, I am so interested. And it was so cute to watch them interact. Also, completely allowed me to watch the Kings Clippers last <laughs> night because I had the two of them going. Then we went back to his house and we uh, met Melissa and Mason there and it was presents time. And the great thing about my dad is, so my sister had sent up a bunch of presents and then I had the presents and then... Um, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, my mom's in the hospital. So, but I, you know, that that presence is coming. So that's cool. She'll get him something when she gets out. Uh, so my sister, basically, with my dad now, all the presents we get him, ninety percent of them, he just looks at quizzically and then smiles and is like, "Wow, this is really great. Thank you." But we can tell like he's never going to use it. He doesn't like it. He got a Florida State license plate cover. He'll use that. Awesome. He got two FSU chip clips from her. I don't know where my sister finds this stuff. That's awesome. But then she got him a, <laughs> she got him a hat and it like straps on. It's got like a chin strap and it straps on. And then it's a giant umbrella. You hit a button and an umbrella comes out and she wants him to wear that when it rains and he's like outside or he's taking a walk or something oh, or, for the sun. or in the sun. Yeah. Exactly. I can tell you right now for a fact, first off, my dad had no chance of getting it on. Like Avery put it on, Melissa put it on. My dad, who has a who, you know, giant head like me too, is just like, I, I don't know. Okay. You'll have to show me. So he says to my sister, you'll have to show me when you get up here, toots. And I was like, okay. That's what he calls me. Yeah, exactly. So, toots. toots. So there was that. Then she got him an electric chainsaw. Mm. of which i might have to re i might have to acquire that secretly and just get it i don't think i want my dad hanging out with an electric i don't want my dad look, how are you with a chainsaw like i can start it and you know i, I have a gas powered one yeah but it's well it's it's a, it's weird i don't know what you call it it's a chainsaw arm that's connected to a giant uh telescoping pole that I use, I have a palm tree in my oh, backyard yeah, yeah, that yeah. I use to get the fronds off. Yeah. But, and, and I could use a chainsaw, but I'm not like, I'm like the most careful. Like, I know, I feel like I'm the guy that'll be like, and just, oh, arm's gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I get nervous around that stuff, but my dad taught me how to use this stuff. I know how to do it. 
with my dad, it's just, and I know he's listening right now. It's not that he can't do this stuff. It's just the chances of my dad accidentally slicing himself open in the backyard if he doesn't have a chainsaw are zero. Right. You know what I'm saying? If he does have a chainsaw, let's say they're 10%. And yeah. then I always say the thing. If you, have, chance. if you have a bowl of M&Ms and one out of every 10, if you eat it, you die. You're not eating that bowl of M&Ms. Let's move on. Right? So there's that. And then I got him the ninja, the, the ice cream maker that I, that, and Lindsay had, my sister, I have, I got my dad this, you know, big present. He opens it and it was one of those. He looks at it. And he's like, oh, my dad loves ice cream. My dad has been known to eat ice cream for dinner when my mom's gone or in the hospital and he's sending for himself. My dad's meals consist of. Uh, like a burrito at Taco Bell or a chicken, one of those banquet chicken pot pies, a TV dinner or ice cream, like not the greatest. You know what I'm saying? So we were like, well, at least he could have ice cream that has the protein of like three chicken breasts is healthy. Like he, he can have the best of both worlds. The problem is I don't. I'm going to go over and like show him what to do. Yeah, I just I'm not you have to show me how to do this. Toots. <sighs> toots. I'm not confident he's going to do it, though. He was not excited. I, I I think his lack of excitement was, and I mean this, I'm talking about my father here. I mean this in the most loving, non-insulting way, was couched in ignorance. And ignorance not in the bad way. Ignorance is just, I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's easy to make the connection from here's this giant confusing machine that I have no idea what to do with. And there's a bunch of steps that I don't understand. I think he loves the idea of having ice cream. Mm -hmm. I think he loves that idea. Yeah. I just get it out of the freezer. Exactly. In his mind. So what I think I'm going to, I think the compromise is, so they have a, uh, this lady that comes over there every day to, to help out named Lori, who's amazing. And we, we, could show Lori how to do it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show Lori how to make the mix and then pour it in the pints and put the lid on and put it in the freezer. I think I can get my dad to be able to put it in the the machine and hit the button. I'm not entirely confident about that, so she might have to do that too. So maybe it's one of those when she leaves every night, she just she leaves him with a pint of ice cream, and then he can just put it back in the fridge. You come over and Lori's chainsaw. Just she's there with a chainsaw, the ninja, yeah. the whole thing, umbrella hat, umbrella hat, and then uh, and then lastly, the other part about it. my dad, as I told you yesterday, is like eating a ton of stuff over all over the world. He's very into exotic stuff. We went to this this sushi place last night. And my dad, first off, was not in a sushi position. That was a problem. I look over at one point, and I look down. Like, my dad is wearing the sushi on his <laughs> lap, like, just wearing it. And I'm like, Dad, you're leaning back, and you're, like, chopsticking the sushi and dipping it. And I'm like, you sushi, sushi position is you have to be, like, you have to be leaned over the table. You have to have, like, the thing with the roll on it, then your little soy sauce, and then you. Like, there has to be a road to you because you're going to drop stuff, man. But then I caught my dad. He was like taking the sushi and he would dip it in the soy sauce. And then the next little bowl was the, you know, the little green wasabi. Mm -hmm. So he's dipping it in the soy sauce. And then he goes and he's trying to like rub the sushi on the wasabi to get wasabi on it. Well, the wasabi is like harder. It's not a liquid. So what was happening is I look over and like his wasabi and soy sauce is basically a, a puddle. It's a stew. Yeah. It's a stew at this point of rice and sushi pieces. And so we did the whole like, Okay, you put the wasabi on the sushi, then quick dunk, yeah. then you eat it, right? I don't think he liked that, but then later I caught him, you know, there's ginger. And the whole point of the ginger on a sushi plate is in between sushi rolls, you eat a piece of ginger. It's a palate cleanser. Mm. My dad, I catch him. He's got the sushi, then he's putting the wasabi on the sushi, then he puts a piece of ginger on the sushi, and then he dips that and eats it because he likes the ginger. And at that point, especially considering my son wasn't there, and I appreciate that he loves the gingers, I let it go. Like, you know what, Dad? You, you. you eat sushi how you want to eat yeah. it. I, I, I'm just here to help. Yeah. Good Lord willing, I can help the ball. And how are you helping? Uh, I was on my phone and watching the Clippers. There you Clippers go. and Kings, which we will talk about, I promise, today, Jason Ross. the uh, I am really impressed with, with the Kings. I am happily <clears throat> surprised and very impressed. Not 100% bought in. I'm not going to sit here and be like, 4 no road trip. But I think there's some things to build off of mm -hmm. last night. Uh, the other big story today we'll get to with leading off. The A's met with Oakland yesterday, and they will meet with Sacramento today. I have thoughts. Like, I am I am fired up to talk about this because I'm starting to hear some things, and there's nothing that fires me up more than when I think 
people in this town are being misled. And I want to make sure that there's some things cleared up about what the A's coming here will and almost certainly will not mean. Uh, so we will talk about that. Katie is going to join us uh, at her old time, 8 a.m., mm-hmm. uh, because she will be on an aeroplane uh, when she would normally be joining us. And uh, beyond that, we've got some numbers in for uh, the Women's Hoops Tournament. My goodness gracious, uh, and more. So we got a big show for all of you. We appreciate you showing up. It's David, it's Jason, it's Chris. We'll get to leading off next. Keep it here to Sacktown Sports for the Sacramento Kings push toward the postseason. Get analysis from our local shows, breakdowns from our Kings insiders, and all the thrilling moments from the G-Man. He, quick catch, quick strike. There's another one up in the lights and in the well. Ten three-pointers made. Keegan Murray putting on an all-time scoring exhibition tonight. Sackdown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family-owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority. Our customers love doing business with us, and you will too. Looking to own or lease? During the spring sales event, drive a brand new Accord or Civic. Visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com, your one-stop Honda shop. Folsom Lake Honda. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Bradley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jake Owen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. Let's do it. Leading off the three top stories in the morning. Huge news. This is very important. Here's cut number one. Stolen by one of the great steel masters of the league, Paul George. The Powell in the corner. He leaves his feet. He's committed, makes a terrible pass. It's stolen by the Kings. Sabonis goes to Keegan Murray with a hammer. Come off the dribble. He just accelerated. He exploded. He lifted off and he rocketed home. That jam to make it 76 62. And Kings fans, as one, jumped to their feet in the lower bowl. Timeout taken by the Clippers. 4 11 to play in the third. I, I, I don't know what that was there. Maybe there's there's a little bit of distortion yeah. on that call. Honestly, that you, you never know what will take you back. Like, that honestly reminded me of listening to him, like, in the car with my parents, yeah. rolling around. Like, just old – G-Man is so old school yes. and great. It's just – sometimes it's just nice just to sit back and – how do you how do you not associate every king of the memory with uh with Gary Gerald? We're so lucky to have him and we're so lucky to have a win, Jason Ross. One oh nine ninety five. You said it in the last segment. Uh impressive. Look, there's uh maybe I, I don't know. That's that's one of the better wins of the year I as agree. far as start to finish, circumstances. Um we kind of painted the the doom picture yesterday. Look, it's likely the Lakers will win. Lakers play again tonight, a favorable matchup at the Kings had lost. Could have been in a tie in the standings with the Lakers. But they beat the Clippers, and they got a few other things besides that uh, Laker game or other than that Laker yeah. game that helped in their favor. But it was really about the way they played, the others that played so well. And it kind of, uh, I'd say, we kindled some hope, I would think. After you know losing that second game to Dallas and losing Malik Monk felt like maybe one of the lower points of the season. I felt like they won despite the efforts of James Harden, who yeah. really was almost unstoppable with six points and five turnovers. Was he I, Was he there? Uh, he He played? He, he was... Yeah, but he was more James Olive Garden than James Harden last night. Yeah, I just head flopping around. Yeah, only four F free throws. But got him right away. I'm like, oh, yeah, here we go. Here we, here we go. Uh, also, look, you know, we tend to be fair here. Even though we are the home of the Kings, we try to be honest with uh, we are family, and you're honest with family. A uh, little bit of an issue with the Montes Sabonis. Yeah. I'm going to say anything. Uh, let's get that 10th assist. Yeah, why not 20? I mean, you get 20 points and 20 rebounds. You can't get 20 assists. Victor Weminyama almost had a quadruple double last night, and DeMontis Sabonis can't figure out how to get one extra assist. I mean, it's what we've been saying about him all year long. He's really not that consistent. He's not that consistent. <laughs> Doesn't play that hard. Honestly, I think he let the team down. Yeah. He'll be better. He'll try better more. I hope the flight today 
he's just sitting kind of by himself writing what he did wrong yeah like hello darkness my old friend just looking out the window just wondering how he can do of course the problem with getting that extra assist is that the teammate has to make the shot that's a good point there were a couple of assists. oh they were trying chances yes yeah, they were okay. We'll bring this up later. Yeah. They were trying, I think, a little too hard. I agree. Yeah. I'm like, this one's over. You can take the guys uh-huh. out, but that's fine. Go for it. And then yeah, look. it's fine now. Yeah, it's fine now because God forbid, I'm not even going to verbalize it. But three and a half minutes left. You're up 19, and it's over. they clear the bench. Clippers clear the bench. Oh, they had already done that. Yeah, and you got your entire starting lineup on the court. It worked. That's awesome, but again, it's it's like lineup Russian roulette. Well, you got you got you got good odds, great odds. It's a one in six chance something's gonna go wrong, but it's a one in six chance something. I need an zero oh in six chance. You know how that works on the bench. True. Well, maybe a half in six because somebody could like, oh, I fell on the bench and broke your leg. Like there could be that, but what are the odds of that? When was the last time that happened? That hasn't happened since. Don't put that out there. The nineties. Yeah, go back. We gotta go back to the nineties. Number two, please. Cut number two. Alameda County Supervisor David Halbert told the San Francisco Chronicle, "Quote: There's a lot of moving parts here. The A's have to sell the Coliseum, and the people who want to buy it have to have the money. Coliseum sale has always been a requirement that the A's would sell their share of the Coliseum in order to receive consideration for a lease extension." End quote. Oakland's mayor, Shang Tao, gave this comment to Casey Pratt of KGO Television in San Francisco. Quote, Oakland made a fair and reasonable offer to the A's. We await their response and look forward to continuing discussions as necessary. Mm-hmm. That's uh, our friend Brody Brazil. Mm-hmm. Not friend enough to come on today. Yeah. Brody's got family stuff. Uh, tried Casey as well. Casey Pratt. He's on vacation. He's on vacation. Yeah. Uh, but, but both good guys and both will join us here. Uh, we'll probably alternate with them. Uh, I don't think Brody's been on the program before, has he? Uh, I mean, we've talked to Brody plenty of times. Yeah, I feel that's why I feel like we have. But yeah, maybe but not. Either way, uh, I'm sure one or both will join us next week. And I expect that next week, uh, if I was a betting man, I would bet heavily it by the time they join us next week. It will be on, on the heels or just before uh, a decision. Now, Here's what's going on. They, as Brody mentioned, they met with Oakland yesterday. And of course, you know, negotiations are going well when both sides immediately run to the media with public statements covering their own butts, including the A's saying as part of their statement, we remain very far apart on negotiations. You know, things are going well when you hear things like the city and county uh, aren't unified in what they're negotiating for. Uh, Things didn't. But it's not that they went badly. Things went as expected yesterday. The A's are like, yeah, we're not doing those things. And Oakland's like, well, that's what you need to do. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to go meet with Sacramento tomorrow. I expect the deal to be cut today. Uh, I, I I think they'll they'll either cut the deal today or set the parameters to, to cut the deal. Um, today is Wednesday. Could it be a Friday announcement? Sure. I expect it'll be they'll want to prepare some things. And I want to have this conversation. We'll have this in a half an hour at 7 a.m. about this because I'm just I'm seeing things. And I want to make sure that everybody understands what this is, what this isn't, what it's not going to be. And so fair warning. Look, I'm not smart about a lot of stuff. This stuff, I'm I this I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this, when it comes to funding, ownership relationships on that end, who owns what, where's the land. We need to talk about, I'm going to walk everybody through baseball permanently being in Sacramento and why that is 100% not going to, that, that is not this. This is not expansion and this is not Vegas will fall through and they're here. And, and I'll walk you through exactly why I say 100%. 99% not going to happen. I won't just say it and rant, but we'll all go through the steps together. So we'll do that at 7 a.m. Uh, do we have time here or we need to break here? Okay, cut number three. Cut number three. But the sport got the game it wanted. Iowa and Caitlin Clark, blindingly popular. She was a one-woman sold-out show and a rating spike this season. Like Clark, LSU, who were the reigning champions, thank you very much, 
have the kind of popularity that in today's world demand in equal measure haters who root very loudly for them to fail spectacularly. Someone's demise was guaranteed by this game, as was someone slapping their name on the next line in celebration. And given the arc of this season's storyline, I suppose it's fitting, it was the third quarter flurry from Clark that provided a margin too large to overcome. Ah. Okay. Wow. Sounds like they got the matchup they wanted. Mm -hmm. Sounds like uh, that matchup might have paid off. Okay. Yeah, it paid off. Big time. My goodness gracious. Uh, I've got a bunch of numbers here. I don't want to give them all out right now, but just to give you one example of how well Iowa LSU did, it outrated every 2023 college football regular season game except Ohio State and Michigan. The NBA Finals? Yeah, no. It outrated that. And I'd also like to talk today a little bit when we do get into this, and we will uh, in the 7 o'clock hour as well. Busy hour. Should Caitlin Clark go to the WNBA? Because hmm. I will tell you this. More than 12 million people tuned in for example, last year, uh, uh, or excuse me, uh, to Iowa and LSU last right. weekend. Okay. 12 million, yeah. Jason. Okay. The average viewers for last season's WNBA finals, 728,000. Yeah. I'm not here to, in any way, shape, or form, disrespect the WNBA. I just think it's an amazing reverse that the college right. product is far more popular than the professional product. And does it behoove Caitlin Clark to go to the WNBA yeah. right now? I feel like, I mean, I said this before, like her peak potential of popularity is right now. I agree with you. She's going to be a good WNBA player, but she's going to be on the list. There's a lot of really good There's WNBA players. a lot players. of really good ones. And I don't know that it's going to, maybe it'll boost the WNBA. But I think boost, it will a little bit. A boost. Yes. Not, I mean, this is. She's not going to be Iowa's Caitlin no. Clark. No, she should be surrounded by the Indiana a lot of fever. Clark. Right, right. And there's nothing wrong with that. By the way, the Indiana fever have that pick for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's not because they're world champions. Right. You know, so she's going to have to do that. And the aces and the Liberty and all these other teams that are great have great players. And yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All right. We'll have that conversation a bit later. We'll take a break. When we come back, the Kings beat the Clippers. Hey, we've got some audio for you as well. We'll relive last night's victory next. Trying to find out where to catch your favorite team's games? Are you a fan of the Kings, Niners, and the NFL? Well, Sackdown Sports has you covered. Touchdown! San Francisco! It's all on his shoulders. Fox, Fox. He fires for the win. He's got the triple. Catch all your Kings, Niners, and NFL games all year long on Sackdown Sports and SackdownSports.com. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has a selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. The PGA Club fitters at the Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio know that golf should be fun. They also know that players of all abilities will hit the ball farther and straighter, play better golf, shoot lower scores, and have more fun if they get fitted before they purchase golf clubs. Hagen Oaks delivers the same technology and major brands used to fit PGA and LPGA professionals. See how the game can be even more fun. Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio fittings are available seven days a week. Make yours today by calling 916-808-2531. That's 808-2531. Everyday Cintas service reps help businesses get ready for the workday. They provide freshly laundered workwear delivered every week. Mats, mops, restroom and cleaning supplies, first aid and safety products to help your employees stay safe. They even test and inspect fire extinguishers and emergency lights. Cintas helps keep your business running smoothly. See what Cintas can do for you. Visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Now. Now your ideas don't have to wait. Now they have everything they need to come to life. 
Dell Technologies and Intel are creating technology that loves ideas, loves expanding your business, evolving your passions. We push what technology can do, so great ideas can happen right now. Find out how to bring your ideas to life at Dell.com. Welcome to now. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Now, during Staples Print Big Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. So, the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Big Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends 4 6. Visit staples.com slash print for details. A toast to our new college grad who fills us with so much joy, almost as much as when we're in our RV. Oh, the world is your oyster, kiddo, and ours too. Now that we're covered with Progressive, Dad and I can hop in our RV anytime we want. Might even splurge on a retractable awning. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Sorry, what was I talking about? Protect your loved one with an RV policy from Progressive. Take as little as four minutes to see what you could save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she just launched her new side gig, a true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. Dirty Heads. Live in concert. Every single day. Friday, April 12th, 7.30 p.m. The venue in Thunder Valley. Special guest, The Elevators. On sale at ThunderValleyResort.com. Don't miss Dirty Heads Live. Excuse me. This segment is brought to you by Aztec Solar. Skip the sales pitch. Calculate your solar savings at yourpowersavings.com. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. Kings 109, Clippers 95. We'll get into a uh, standings update here uh, at 7.30 in an hour. We'll update you on all those things. And, Jason, I think it's time we we really start getting into tiebreakers. And stuff. Yes. There's one thing I noticed last night, and, again, we'll get into this deeper at 7.30, but correct me if I'm wrong. As of right this second – uh, the Sacramento Kings are one game behind the Dallas Mavericks for the five seed. Correct. And they own the tiebreaker. They don't. So help me out here because this is where I'm confused. So right now, Dallas is 29 and 20 in conference. Yes. The Kings are 29 and 19. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought they had the same record. No, I looked that, at it last night, then I looked incorrectly. And yes. That, and that's, right. Yeah. And that's all. So so that's so because My they're. Apologies. Two, no, that's fine. So because it's confusing. That's why I want to get into it. Yeah, because it, it has to go to the second one, which is conference. The head to head is 2 2. Yes. So we, when it comes to the Mavs specifically, we're going to look at conference record. Yeah. And I actually, I'm glad you brought it up because the other day when they did lose to Dallas, a lot of people were like, well, it's over. I said, it's actually not. Yeah. And, I mean, I don't know that the Kings will catch them. Sure. But in theory, if they do. Dallas will have to lose some conference games. That's Kings right. will probably win some conference games. And actually, I think they would have the tiebreaker if they get into a spot where they tied them at the end of the season. Well, uh, tie, tie, yes. The and second tiebreaker. Do we know what the third tiebreaker is? I don't. I, uh, actually, I think it's rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Which, by the way, I yeah. would 100% be for as long as we want. Uh, 
just in case you're wondering, the Kings have four games left in conference mm-hmm. at Oklahoma City, home New Orleans, home Phoenix, home Portland. Now, I'm comfortable in saying we're getting at least one out of that. Okay. Okay. Uh, That's not gonna the third tiebreaker is winning percentage against teams in own division. Winning. Okay. So in division. All right, everybody, we're going to figure out the that's problem where their division's a little bit lighter than the Kings, but uh, yeah. I can do the Kings really fast. So the, in division, the Kings are 10 and six. In division, the Mavs are 10 and five. The so Kings have one more in division game. They have one more. That's Portland. Oh. Huh. No, that's Phoenix. Oh, that's right. Portland's on their division. And I wonder, yeah. wouldn't that be funny based on schedule? Because it used to always be even. Because remember, they play the Suns a fifth time. That's right. Wouldn't it be interesting if that half game was a is difference? Is what it is. By the way, the Suns are 25 and 21 in conference. They're not ca- – because the Kings have two wins against the Suns this yeah, year. Yeah, but they'll, they'll decide it in the fifth game. Oh, that's right. The, They're 2-2. The two head two. Head. They're 2-2. Yeah. Two, two. You're right. Woof. It might come down to rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Or paper, scissors, rock. It's rock, paper, scissors, right? It's not paper, scissors, rock, I don't think. Uh, no matter what. No matter how you divide that up. Keegan Murray was shooting the basket last Shooting the basket, mm. shooting the ball last night. Here's a kick out to Harden. He's open for three. He misses <laughs> that. It's chased down by Keegan Murray. Cruises up the left side. Now he accelerates. Runs into a secondary defender. So he stops, pops, and he hits the little pull-up off the dribble. Score is tied now at five points apiece. Mm-hmm. Davion Mitchell, later on in the show, guys, and feel free to, you know, we've coined the term. It's been a very influential year for the show. We coined the term Willody. Mm-hmm. Okay. We, I think, definitely assisted. I'm happy. I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm comfortable enough in saying that we assisted in getting the Sabonis chant going. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to come up with a new award, all right, with – with Monk and Herder out, this is a working title, guys. We're going to call it the Malevin Hurtonk play of the game. Now, it could be the Kavik Munker mm. award, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's some, co- but Malevin with Malik and Kevin, and then Hurtonk, Herder, Monk. I guess it'd be Hurtonk. The Malevin Hurtonk player of the game sounds a little clunky. We're working on it, yeah. but but I think each game, especially each win, I think it's it, we focus on what player it could be players really fit that whole who stepped up in their place. Malevin Hurtunk. I was thinking of other things like you know, hey, you know that Malik means king in king. Arabic, yeah, and red velvet, king red velvet, velvet. King, king velvet, Ooh. red velvet king. I don't think we knew it wasn't red. Wasn't there a red king in history that like massacred a bunch of people? I feel like. That that wouldn't work. The Red King. I wasn't watching the documentaries with you and your roommate, Harrison. <laughs> Harrison Barnes. Uh, oh, I kind of like the King Velvet. You know what, Jason? King Velvet Award. That's why this is a showocracy and not a show tatership. Red King. King Velvet. Velvet. That's it. That's the award, dude. The King Velvet. Because, you know, Malik means king in Arabic. Hmm. Didn't know that. Nope. Uh, Damian Mitchell putting his hat in the ring for the King Velvet Award. It's 21-19. Clippers lead it. Skip pass cross court. Goes to the left corner. Here's Amir Coffey. Rejected by Alex Lynn as he tried to spin in a fadeaway shot just outside the paint. Kings get it back. Crossover move. Damian Mitchell to the pass. Scores with a high scoop off the window. And we're tied at 21 apiece. Also, off night since you i saw them playing that in the back that's that's catching on i like that um since you're in every game maybe what i could do is that because this also works get a red velvet one of them hats mm-hmm. with the crown on yes. it and then after they're done with the defensive player of the game pictures and all that find whoever we award that to and put that crown on their head and you get the King heavy velvet. Is the crown. heavy is the head that wears the crown you're 100 percent right so was Mitchell King Velvet last night? I don't know. This guy had something to say. Wilds open for three. He was backpedaling on the release. He had the feel that that one was going down. How about Trey Lyles in his second game back? Three of five from downtown for nine points. Kings lead at 36-27. Three minutes, 10 seconds gone. Quarter number two. That's his third three ball. Mm-hmm. He's King Velvet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Davion said... 
Not so fast. Fox to Trey Lyles in the right wing. Up to Davion. He's open. He launches. He scores. Davion Mitchell now has 14 points. He has just matched Norman Powell for game scoring honors. It's 55-49 in favor of Sacramento. Approaching one minute to go in the half. When you look at the box score, Jason Ross, from last night, you look at Keegan Murray, it's, uh, I wouldn't say un-Keegan-like. There have been some times where where he'll do this, but I think it's what they want. Keegan Murray with a, uh, it's not a team high. Fox was 6 of 20, but had 20 points. Look, I'm going to say it. I, by the way, from the line, they were 76%, and De'Aaron was 7 of 7. It's a bonus miss for free throws. Mm-hmm. Um not a, it wasn't a bad night for De'Aaron by any stretch of the imagination, but this was not De'Aaron's A game. Like when you're six of 20, that's not, that's just not De'Aaron's yeah. A game, but he sucked it up defensively. He did what he needed to do, and his teammates also rose to the occasion as well. Keegan, though, eight of 18. Now, look, that's, you know, about 40%. That's not ideal, but I love the fact that he shot it eight yeah. times. I think it's two games in a row for that. So it's first time in his career. And, um, yeah, it was it was definitely a collective. I think your other uh, King Velvet could be. Is it Velvet King or King Velvet? I I think it's King Velvet, okay. but it works. King but Velvet. Do you, do you prefer the Velvet King? Because the Velvet King rolls off the tongue. Yeah, too. it does. Uh, what about Alex Len? So Alex Len last night in twelve minutes. Now, if we let me put it this way, Jason, let's you know what? Let's do what the nerds do. Let's go per thirty six. Mm-hmm. And also because it's easy math. Alex Len per 36 last night uh, would have had 12 points, 21 rebounds, nine blocks, three steals, and three assists. In just 12 minutes, which is reality, he made both his shots. He had 4.7 boards and three blocks. And Does that have the plus minus? Uh, yeah. yeah, Jason Ross. So I would say the high for the Kings and plus minus was Damian Mitchell with plus 16, but it's not. It's Alex Len at plus 18. Here's the key. Minutes. In 12 minutes. You know what? It just occurred to me. Plus minus would be a lot more useful if it was plus minus per minute. Isn't that misleading? Because you look at it, and Damian Mitchell's plus 18 or well, plus 16 in-, in 25 minutes. Right. That means that the 25 minutes he was on the floor, his team outscored the other team by 16. Yeah. That's impressive. What's far more impressive is that Alex Len's team outscored the Clippers by 18 in just 12 minutes. As a matter of fact, if we're doing per, just double it. Len played 12 minutes. Davion played 25. If you added 18 to 18, Alex Len, if he plays Mitchell's minutes at that rate, he's plus 36. I think they need to do per minute because that's a misleading <laughs> stat. Either way, it's fantastic. And you're right. Alex Len, Davion Mitchell, and Trey Lyles all stepped up for a combined 33 points, 15 rebounds, nine assists, three steals, two steals, and four block shots. I'm going to say this. If we can get that kind of production from them every night, this will be a dangerous team. I agree. Every night. Yeah. Not no off nights. King Velvet. We need King Velvet, and then, and and Davion Mitchell needs to change his name now to On Night mm. because he has to be on every single night. I need that out of Davion Mitchell every single night. Also, everyone played but Javale McGee, who is my random stat. Coach but, heard you. I mean, spoiler alert. Yeah, coach. Coach hates me. I mean, what the? Heck? That's the only reason. Uh, we'll take a break when we come back. Safe or out this is all sacramento a's related stay tuned we're back after this what's the missing piece for the 49ers which names will they add during free agency whether it's in season or off season the coverage never stops get the latest 49ers news on sacktown sports at sacktownsports.com guys did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system including how you feel and perform every day Right now, Revive Men's Cell Sacramento will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T level is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. 
Get your T-Levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They're in Midtown in the Cal Sutter Medical Building and also offer telemedicine appointments. Plus, with free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation today. Call Revive Men's Health at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. For my good friends at American Energy. Now, I've told you this before, but this is what we call extending a good deal. Right now, American Energy Heat and Air is offering an HVAC diagnostic for $99. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Never mind. They're offering it free. It's a $99 value, but you get it for zero. Let the American Energy team test your system connections and all the moving parts of that system to ensure that it's functioning properly. Now, this is a limited time offer. Call today to schedule your appointment at 916-520-9990. Speak to the company that has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau that's been making the greater Sacramento area proud since 1981. 916-520-9990 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. Tell them Carmichael Dave sent you. Dr. Ken Halachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Arch support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Arch support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. For a precision-crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at acuraofstockton.com. Acura of Stockton will buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision-crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and acuraofstockton.com. Thinking of remodeling your home? Say goodbye to endless internet searches and visit Subcontractors United. Find a list of three pre-qualified and licensed contractors in each home service category. From cabinets to landscapers and everything in between, Subcontractors United makes finding qualified contractors free and easy with no accounts to set up. Visit subcontractorsunited.com and experience the joy of stress-free home improvement. Save time and money at subcontractorsunited.com. Safe or out, it's time to go around baseball. Three pitches, three swings. It's safe or out on the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. All right. By the way, this is true. It is. I, I, I'm just going to ask you to believe me, and I'm going to get a lot of eye rolls on the YouTube. It is 100% a coincidence that I am wearing A's colors today. It really is. I'm wearing a Pearl Jam shirt yeah. that I got up in Seattle. And then I have these shoes that match the shirt. But then I got here and I was like, oh, we're going to talk a lot of A's today. I'm wearing. So I put on the King's hat just to kind of break it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we are going to talk A's heavily coming up in about 11 minutes. I'm, I'm going to tell you, in my opinion. With Sacramento meeting with Oakland today, and and I believe likely coming to a deal to bring the A's here for three years. What it is, but also what it isn't. Because nothing ticks me off more than Sacramento people, fans specifically, getting yanked around. Okay. No offense to your baseball team. Wasn't talking about the Yankees. Speaking of, we'll get to that in a second. Safer out, Chris Rolog, question one. If the A's moved here for three years, they'd need to be called the Sacramento A's. All right, safer out. Hey, by the way, uh, quick show note. 
just behind the scenes. So when I'm writing this out, it occurred to me this morning. Can we just, you and I agree that for the rest of the year, every time you read anything, it just starts with safer out. So I don't have to type it every time. Mm, we'll see. Okay. Uh, That's such a pain, isn't it? It's just safer out. I know he, uh, yeah, you just say safer out every yeah. time. Especially I do it on my phone. Yeah. Um, yeah, safe. That would be the Oakland A's playing in Sacramento. No. Call it that. I mean, and don't pull some crap like the California A's. Or the, what is it? The uh, Northern California. The Northern California Baseball Club. <laughs> like, no, I think if they're playing in Sacramento, you got to call them Sacramento A's. Not that I necessarily want that associated with Sacramento, but if they're playing here, and don't call them the West Sac A's either. It's the Sacramento. That's what it was. It's just, it sounds gross to even say, but I don't, I don't think the Oakland A's should be playing in Sacramento. That's weird. Yeah, I think uh, the other part that's important is whatever they officially come to terms with on what their name will be when they're in Vegas. Isn't it the Las Vegas A's? If it is, oh, then, right. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to be something in between. I yeah. mean, it could be Sacramento. Sure. But you don't want to be like, a, you know, if they didn't want to be the Oakland A's and so they're here, they just name them some other team for three years. That'd just be weird. Which would you rather have? The Sacramento A's and everything that goes with it, the, the, the breed of gold. What if, what if they proposed... Actually, we're going to change the t- we're going to change the team name and the colors for their Sacramento stand. So it could be like the Sacramento Trees. It could be weird, but it would be a little. Um, I'm trying to remember. I believe they were the New Orleans, Oklahoma City Hornets. But the idea was that they would be going back, right? correct? Because right. that was Katrina, right? So, but I think there was like an homage to Oklahoma City at least. But they kept the New Orleans name, right? So. That's the only one that I can remember yeah, recently. That is, that's, that's but they, to Chris's point, they were going back. Safer out question two. Safer out. If the A's move to SAC, would you just, you would just adjust, you would just adjust nope. who your favorite team was. <laughs> you would adjust who your favorite team was. <laughs> you would just adjust. You is would, this a safer no, out? You would adjust. Safer out. Oh, okay. Um, if, I will make this broader. Like, if the A's relocated permanently to Sacramento as a Giants fan, who it's a little easier for me because I'm out on the Giants right now, but I'm going to root for whatever team's in Sacramento. Mm-hmm. That's just my golden rule. If you play in Sacramento, I'm rooting for you, and you're my favorite team. Like, if the 40, I'm a 49er fan. Why am I a 49er fan? There's no Sacramento NFL team. I've been a 49er fan since birth. If Sacramento got the Jaguars, I'm a Jack dude. I love you, Niners. I'll root. I'll still love you, and I will still root for you unless you play the Jaguars, the Sacramento Jaguars. Then it's go sack. Now this is a little bit of a different thing because you know it's a rental, but yeah, I, I I think honestly, just broadly, when it comes to if a team comes here, does the old team go out the road? I'm I'm diehard, but I'm diehard for the the city for me comes before everything else. That's just me. Yeah, I mean, I think, again, it's easier to kind of jump on board for a three-year run if it's truly three years. And yeah. you're just kind of like, oh, I appreciate them here. I want them to win while they're here right. or win as many games as they can. But for me, I mean, Yankees are uh, – it won't be over the Yankees, yeah, but I'll root for them in every other every other game. Well, that leads us to question number three, Chris Rillard. Say for out. Okay, Jason, mm-hmm. we know you're a loyal Yankee fan, but what if it was the Yankees versus the A's in the ALCS? <laughs> There's the rest of that question. Say for out, you hate Sacramento. You first. I'm rooting for. Hey, yeah. I'll, I'll change it to this. If it was the Sacramento A's versus the San Francisco Giants in the World Series, suck it, Giants. Go A's. Sacramento trophy. Yeah, let's go. I mean, hypothetically, obviously. You know what also happens to? I'll just speak for myself personally in a lot of this. Um, if this all happens, and yeah. this even in this case scenario. Uh, you get attached to people more so than teams. That's true. And I'm not even talking about the players. That's true. Like, you know, I already know a few people that work for the A's. Right. But You'll know them a lot here, more. And or there's people here that'll maybe start to work for the. It's right. So then you're attached to more people and families, and you know what it means. And so, yeah, that that would be a really tough one. But no, I don't need some. But it, but but it's one of those. If it was. The Sacramento A's next year, and somehow miraculously they got to the ALCS. It'd be one of the greatest stories in sports history. It would be. And and it, are you saying that you feel like, to be fair, you'd probably have to make your decision then? 
Like you need to go through that. Well, it seems like such a far fetched. Yeah, thing. I don't think you would have to worry about that. I get it. Probably root for the story, which would be the Sacramento Ace. Okay. So in that scenario, you would summon in a crazy way, find yourself not rooting against Correct. your lifelong team, right? But just rooting more for the local story. Yeah. If there was a one year window where they won something that spectacular here, mm-hmm. it'd be pretty great. Yes. Where the Yankees have won a lot. Be amazing. Yeah, it's true. You guys have enough. Enough to go it's around. Enough. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll update you very quickly on what's going on with the A's. But also, as I, I'm seeing in a lot of in talking points in social media, again, I want to I'm gonna tell you what I think this is, and more importantly, tell you why I what I think is it is not. I do not think this is a tryout for expansion. I do not think this is a play to keep them permanently, or if it is a play to keep them permanently, how that has almost no chance of happening. And I'm going to walk you through my thought process, and then you can decide for your own. So we'll do all that right here in your home of the King, Sackdown Sports. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SackdownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SackTownSports.com. I didn't ask to be thrown in the streets with nowhere to go. I didn't think I'd survive. But I did ask for help, and Covenant House was there for me. One in 10 young adults will experience a form of homelessness this year. For these kids who didn't ask to be put in this unthinkable situation, Covenant House is there. Covenant House helped me break the cycle of homelessness in my family. They gave me the love that I needed. Over 2,000 young people will sleep safely in a Covenant House bed tonight. When youth who are experiencing homelessness have a hot meal, a safe place to sleep, medical care, and love, they can overcome heartbreaking challenges and have a brighter future. They just really genuinely just wanted to help me succeed, and I'm succeeding. I'm a, I'm a speaker, I'm an author. Covenant House really helped me and really helped mold me into the woman I am today. If you or someone you love is asking for help, go to safeplacetosleep.org today. The sound of BOGO-free blizzard treats in the DQ app. It's the sound of downloading the DQ app, redeeming the sweetest BOGO-free blizzard deal, telling all your friends, and heading to DQ. For BOGO free any size blizzard treats only in the DQ app for a limited time. Download it today. At participating locations, limitations apply. DQ. <laughs> Happy tastes good. Timmy, everybody. Great job. Next up, we have Samantha. Ten times better performance can make a big difference. Castrol Edge Motor Oil gives your engine ten times better high temperature performance. Castrol Edge, better oil for maximum performance. Now through April 23rd, get a $15 gift card when you buy five or more quarts of Edge or Edge High Mileage Full Synthetic, only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Claim based on Sequence 3H test versus API SP test limits. If you're in the market for a new or used car right now, or if you just want to go see like what new technologies in the new cars nowadays, stop by and see my friends at Elk Grove Kia and the Elk Grove Bottom Mall before you go anywhere else. As soon as you step onto the lot, you're going to feel like family. You're going to know why they have so many five-star reviews at Elk Grove Kia and why they're the number one Sacramento Kia dealer. Like, I love this five-star review right here. Quote, I could not be happier. My husband surprised me with my new Telluride. I love it. The staff is friendly, kind, and conscious. Took their time to find the perfect car. Thank you guys for the hard work. Great job. I love my new Telly. There you go. That's just another satisfied customer at Elk Grove Kia. So in addition to all the five-star reviews, the finance team at Elk Grove Kia has over 100 years combined experience. You know what that means? Financing for everyone. And we know going to the car dealership can be overwhelming, but come experience Elk Grove Kia. They go above and beyond to make sure this is an automotive adventure for you. Check out what's on special and what's on the lot today at ElkGroveKia.com. Or better yet, come see everything in person at Elk Grove Kia in the Elk Grove Auto Mall. I'm Ken Korak with our first Green and Gold Report for 2024, brought to you by Xfinity 10G, the network made for streaming. Well, for the A's to turn around their fortunes this year, they'll have to play better defense than they've shown early in the season. Now, Bryce wants on the mound. Paul Blackburn went seven in the last game of the Cleveland series, 
three hits and no runs. And then Kyle Muller in the first game against the Red Sox comes out of the bullpen. Five and a third, one hit, and six strikeouts. Want more speed? Well, Xfinity just increased their internet speeds, and they're faster than ever. It's time to get more out of your internet with faster speeds from Xfinity. Now through June 21st, get 150 megabit Xfinity internet for only $19.99 a month for 12 months with one year contract. That's double the speed for the same great price. Click, call, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with store bank account. Restrictions apply. Equipment taxes and other charges extra. After promo, regular rates apply. Actual speeds vary. I love this time of year when the azaleas begin to bloom and the singing birds' sweet dawn chorus remind us that blue skies and sunshine are at hand. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. In sports, the definition for the word master is one who's achieved a high degree of skill, and that will be on display in the highly anticipated golf tournament. In the furniture business, a master is a highly skilled craftsman, an artist even, whose work is coveted by those who appreciate design, quality, and durability. John Keyes was the mastermind of Naturewood Home Furnishings. He knew that you wanted your home to reflect your personal style, whether that was a plain coffee table or a masterpiece for you to enjoy forever. That's why when you walk into Naturewood Home Furnishings, you'll find the largest and best selection of the highest quality home furnishings in Northern California. Masterful. Naturewood Home Furnishings, off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. This segment is brought to you by Aztec Solar. Skip the sales pitch. Calculate your solar savings at yourpowersavings.com. KHTKAM Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. Your new home for 49ers football in the 916. Sacktown Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom! With Jason Ross. No! He did it! Yes! He did! Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. All right, Katie will join us at 9 a.m. 8 a.m., excuse me, an hour early because uh, she'll be flying today. Whee! Uh, out to uh what new york yeah. yes a lot to get to here all right uh the a's met with oakland yesterday the sides are still quote very uh far apart that's a quote according to uh uh the a's uh oakland saying hey we think we made a great offer and we await their response well i think the response was everybody's negotiating in public which is never good everyone's trying to cya in public that's never good for these things uh now the a's are set to meet with uh, sacramento today uh, now, with the caveat that it's John Fisher, it's the A's, uh, you never know. No one's putting their, uh, their their name on the line here by guaranteeing anything. But all signs point to a deal will be struck either in principle or completely today. That could be, hey, I think we have a deal. We have the framework of a deal. Malou fans will remember that one. We just need to dot some I's across some T's and we're done. But Sounds like that's where it's going. Very much sounds like from all sides. That's what Brody Brazil's hearing, Casey's hearing, I'm hearing. Um, everyone covering this, I think, is, is hearing the same things. Could that be uh, a leverage play? Yes, of course. There's a lot of different things at, at play here, Jason, but that's what it sounds like. And if I was a betting man, I would bet on them striking a deal or the framework of a deal today and an announcement coming sometime later this week, probably next week, that the A's will play the next three years in Sacramento. So, but what I'm start, what I I, I want to hone in on some other things because I, I've said this from the beginning. I'm not a fan of this, but I'm not going to bemoan anybody who is. That everyone, you know, you included. That's we've had many conversations about this. I understand the other side, and I get it. I totally get. It. I'm not going to be like you're a bad person. But what I don't want is I don't want there to. I don't want people making their decisions based on things that are either not going to happen or very likely not going to happen. One of the things I keep hearing is that this is an expansion tryout. Again, my opinion, this is not, an, this is anything but an expansion tryout. First off, there are other cities that uh, assault like being one that have a far bigger appetite politically and far more money, but also are geographically more attractive than Sacramento. Also, 
The Giants have done everything they can to get the A's out of Northern California. This is a giant city. No offense, A's fans. I'm not trying to, you know, uh, punch down here. Just the numbers, Jason, I know you'll back me up on this. The numbers back it up. The Giants rule this area. That ratings-wise, viewer-wise, attendance-wise, season ticket-wise, the Giants consider the 916 pretty much their territory. They don't like the A's infringing on it a little bit here and there. They would never, ever, ever support an expansion in Sacramento, and the Giants are incredibly powerful behind the scenes, as we've seen here. But let's put that aside, because that's going to the reason why that won't happen isn't just because of that. I'll get to that with the second thing I'm hearing, which seems a little bit more. This one makes a little more sense. Well, we don't have any trust in John Fisher being able to close a deal. There doesn't seem to be a lot of love in Vegas. Certainly not the type of love you'd expect from a city about to get its first type of major league team in that sport. There's the possibility of this thing going to voters, which we'll we'll hit on that here in a second. So the idea would be, well, okay, bring him to Sacramento for three years. Let's sell this sucker out. Let's let's really go crazy. And if Vegas falls through, they're already here. They can't go, they're not gonna go back to Oakland. They don't want to go to Salt Lake City. They're, they're right here. Oh, and by the way, John Fisher was at a Kings game. We all saw it like months ago. He Vivek said that they're they're good friends. Maybe this is a chess move for Vivek to try to be able to he's he's working he's working the room and he's gonna try to be able to buy this team from John Fisher and keep him in Sacramento. Okay, well, let's explore that here for a second and why that ain't happening either. I'm just gonna go to the most simple, tried and true truth when it comes to things like this. And I would ask everybody to participate. For the A's to stay in Sacramento, that means that Vivek would Vivek and friends would need to purchase the team, okay? Almost certainly. The purchase price for the A's would be at a minimum $2 billion. You then would need to build a stadium in Sacramento. Where are you building it? You're going to tear down the Rivercat Stadium because they own that, and you're going to rebuild there? Maybe. But you'd need to have a lot bigger footprints. Well, is that true? You, you, you'd need to. I heard the footprint's big enough. Now, I heard. I'm not saying that. With the parking and all that, yeah, it could be. I know there's still some shared land, I think, yeah. with Mark Friedman and a couple of other things. And there's a lot of residential there now. There is a lot of residential. Options to build other things like mm -hmm. storefronts and all that kind and of stuff. And it's important to remember for this conversation, by the way, that West Sacramento is not Sacramento. Mm -hmm. It's not Sacramento County either. That's West Sacramento. I believe that's Yolo County. It's a whole different ball game there. That doesn't mean that they can't work together on things right. they did with the River Cats. You're also assuming, by the way, remember, that would be a relocation. Now, Major League Baseball, as we talked about at length yesterday, is not charging a relocation fee for John Fisher to move to Las Vegas. I don't think it's a slam dunk that that would happen in Sacramento because that's a different ball game. You think the Giants are going to vote yes on that? You think the Giants are going to rally behind the scenes? And a relocation fee is about a billion dollars. That's what they've said. Two billion to buy the team, possibly a billion for reload, but let's throw that out. Maybe they can work it out. I don't think they can, but let's say they can. And a billion dollars, give or take, to build a stadium. Oh, by the way, there is zero appetite for public subsidies on this. You will not get a public subsidy. First off, West Sac doesn't have the money. They ain't doing it. Secondly, if you, you come to Sacramento with that, this isn't the Kings. This is where I'm going to get nerdy here, but it's important to understand how everything works behind the scenes. Vivek's not going to pay $2 billion for the A's and then come up with another billion dollars to privately build the stadium. He does not have that money. Secondly, he would have to form an ownership group. Now, I don't know what Vivek's Rolodex is, and I know he knows people, but it's important to remember that in the King's situation, that ownership group was built by Kevin Johnson. Completely built by Kevin Johnson. I think Vivek might have brought Raj Bathal, but I'm not sure. But Kevin put it together. A former point guard who had the commissioner of the league working hand-in-hand -hand with him. That's not this situation. 
There is no appetite for public subsidy at all. Not with everything going on in Sacramento, homeless and all this stuff and this crazy stuff going on. And you can't use what happened with Golden One Center. Now, Golden One Center has been a big success. But what a lot of people don't know is that COVID completely kicked a leg out from their growth. They've had to dip into the general fund, which they will pay back. Things are better now. Parking hasn't been what it is. There's a lot more Uber going downtown than people realized. The math did not work out as well, largely because of COVID. There's no, you don't have Kevin Johnson. By the way, you also don't have Daryl Steinberg. He's leaving. That means, that means Mayor Flo, or uh, uh, Flo, uh, I forget her last name, is the presumptive favorite to win the, the office of mayor. The other person on the ballot is Kevin McCarty, who was a consistent no vote on every arena proposal there is. So if Kevin McCarty wins, you just ship that away. And from what I've asked around and understood, Mayor Flo is not going to have an appetite for this either at all. You're not going to get council and county support for this. Plus, we don't have the money. This is on the permanent residency. I'm talking about the permanent right. residency. People say, well, if the Fisher deal falls through, Vivek will swoop in and buy him, and here we go. Okay, but let's walk that through. you got to come up with two, possibly $3 billion to buy this team. We don't have the ownership group. We don't have the corporate sponsors. We don't. We don't have the, we don't have a Fortune 500 company here. And don't sit there and count on Rayleigh's and all. They're already tied in a little bit. Rayleigh's has had years. You see Rayleigh's name with with the Kings? No. Same with the River Cats a little bit. Where's the money coming from for baseball? Where there's no place for the money to come from, there's no public subsidy. What I think it's important to understand if you're for it, here's what you're for. You're for the A's team to come here for three years and play Major League Baseball at almost certainly a horrific clip of wins with no investment, no salary, playing in a minor league team, and John Fisher continue. There'll be some bells and whistles for opening day. Don't get me wrong, but he ain't coming in and investing $120 million on payroll because they're coming to Sacramento. They're losing money coming to Sacramento from what they had with the A's. They're losing. They're going to make less money. The TV deal is going to get cut in half. That's less money. You think John Fisher's coming out of pocket to invest in a team that's not going to be here in three years or that he's not going to have a part of in three years? No. So you're going to have a team that wins 50 to 60 games a year coming here for three years, which I can promise you by year three, if not year two, the luster is going to wear off from having this team with Sacramento on the front. That is like literally the worst team in baseball history. And then you're asking, you're assuming that if the Vegas deal falls through, we're just going to magically find this money with no Kevin Johnson, no ownership group, no land site. It's not the rail yards. Nagel has the rail yards along with Larry Kelly and, and, and Denton Kelly and those guys. And they're working on the outdoor stadium right now for the Republic, which I know everyone's going to say, when's that going to happen? <laughs> just, just wait on that one a little bit. But that's already, and those guys aren't working together. I'm talking about Vivek, the Vivex group and the other group. There's no interest in that. The Giants have no interest in this happening. There was one other point I wanted to make about mixing all of that. The Giants' influence or lack thereof. Baseball waving the reload fee. Yes. So here's what, if you're excited for the A's to come here, because you're going to have the opportunity to see other major league baseball teams play here for three years, and you're going to have a short drive down and it's going to be fun and exciting. That's what you're getting. And that's very, very appropriate. If you're, if you are tying your sale to the idea of the team relocating permanently to Sacramento, or this being a, 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 expansion tryout i believe both the expansion thing ain't happening and being here permanently as i'm trying to walk you through there's no money find me the money i know they have no money oh that's the last point i wanted to make <clears throat> i could understand somebody making a counter and saying well hold on a second the vecanist crew bought the kings for 535 million dollars and they're worth around two and a half to three billion right now they've made a lot of money perhaps they reinvest some of that money and they buy the a's with that they've got the money no they do not this is what's important to understand 
I'm not sure where it is right now, but I know as of, as of a year ago, I believe not one single owner had taken profit out of the Kings. In fact, they'd had to put more in. When the Kings need money, they have what's called a cash call with all the owners. Jason, if you're an owner and we're on a cash call, that means we're trying to raise uh, $50 million and your percentage of ownership is what your percentage of that $50 million is. If you don't purchase, if you don't pay that check, if you don't cut that check, then Vivek, and then on the way down, has the opportunity to pay for you, and they soak up that percentage yeah. of ownership. In order to realize the profit from the NBA team, you have to sell your share of the NBA team. Now, if you're saying, and this is how I'll close this, well, hold on, Dave, what if Vivek sold the Kings and he used those proceeds to bring the, the, the baseball here? Windfall, hero. Yeah, that's a road. Let me tell you this. I have a better chance of starting at center against New York for the Sacramento Kings than Vivek Ranadive has of selling the Kings to buy the A's for many reasons, but this one in particular. Well, two. One, the NBA is a far better investment right now. Far better with the TV contracts coming up and everything we've talked about, the expansion, all that stuff. There's a lot of money coming in for these owners. Secondly, owning a major league franchise is nowhere near, nowhere near, in the ballpark, pun intended, as glamorous as owning an NBA franchise. You own an NBA franchise, you're sitting courtside, you're sitting next to 50 Cent and Floyd Mayweather, you're lighting the beam, you're putting out Instagram videos. I saw Vivek the other day put out a, 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 a motivational saying that I think he made up. It was, like a, it was like a card that had the saying on it in quotes and he signed it. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Like, you're a different type of person when you own an NBA team. Major League Baseball team, nobody sees you. You're in a box, maybe. It's not glamorous. Think about all the Major League Baseball owners you know and think about all the celebrities that go to those. Don't fool yourself. Vivek's a great owner. Vivek's learned a ton. I love I love him. This is not a rip on Vivek. Part of the reason Vivek loves this is because, like most NBA owners, it gives you access to the to the cool club. You're sitting next to these celebrities. You're able to lever. Hey, why don't you? I'm going to fly you out. Why don't you come sit here, Kelsey Grammer, and let's watch a game. And we're going to take a bunch of pictures together. It's awesome. We'll go to parties. I'm going to go to Davos and speak at the thing. And blah, blah. God bless him for it. That's not baseball. So if you're wanting to have the A's come here because you want to see Aaron Judge for three years, that's what you're getting. If you want the A's to come here because you think this is some play and expansion, which is what you're going to hear. This is an expansion play, but really, you never know what can happen. They're going to plant those seeds. Watch for them. I would invite anyone listening, because I know this is going to get back. This is going to get back to the folks that are working on this. And I would say this as we break. Call me and let's have this conversation privately. And you walk me through the points I made and you walk me through where the money's coming from. You've known me long enough to know I will not say a word. You know me long enough to know I will hold the secrets. But I will, if you walk me through, and it's legit, I will come on the air and I will say I was wrong and I apologize. I will say publicly, the thing I said the other day, I apologize. I was ill-informed. I talked to somebody. I can't say what we talked about. But you know what? This could happen. Call me. Call me. We talk. Call me. You have my number. Call me. Walk me through it. Show me where the money's coming from or where it could come from. Show me the path and I will apologize. I'm not going to get that phone call because I because I think everyone knows this is a three-year play. Great income for Sacramento. They need it. Pitch me that. We need that money. We need that income. Please don't pitch fans, hopeful fans, who are leading with their hearts on this being an expansion play or this being a play at a permanent team because I don't believe that in any way, shape, or form is on the realistic tree. That's all I got. The one thing I want to say on all that is I think I don't believe the luster will be lost no matter how bad they are here hmm. in the three years. I don't. I could be right. I think they'll probably strategically even ask for multi-year season tickets. Mm -hmm. so, oh, I think they absolutely and Based will. on the size of the stadium. And I yeah. know people go, oh, they have a thousand fans a game. They'll have more than that here. I, I, think, I think they'll do well here. I do. You're not worried about I agree with you. I think best seats are going to go to those who commit for three years. Mm -hmm. And I think you're going to get probably 10,000 three-year season tickets or more. I agree with yeah. you on that. You don't think by the third year, if they are sucking like that, we're going to have an A situation where, well, you know, reported attendance is 12-5, but it, it looks like there's 3,000 I there. don't think so. I mean, I don't know for sure. I don't think so. But it's also then if we have a, a window where they say, 
you know, we would know by then for sure, sure if they're leaving sure. in a few months. Yeah. I think there'll be some people go, I never went to an A's game in Sacramento. So this is my last season. I'm this going. It. That's yeah. That that part I don't know. That part Even is if they're fifty and a hundred and ten. Complete guesswork on my part. You could be hundred percent right. All right, blew through that. We are so late. We'll take a very quick one minute break. When we come back, we got to fly through three for madness next. Our first year as the radio home of the San Francisco 49ers is one we will never forget. And here's Purdy going to throw one deep, wide for Debo. Made the catch on the back shoulder. Touchdown, San Francisco! And a back shoulder banger for Debo Samuel. Congratulations to the 49ers on a terrific year. And thank you for so many wonderful memories. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kyle Draper here for Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. I get a lot of compliments from my friends about my new EQS SUV. Mercedes has proven that electric cars can be gorgeous and stylish. My EQS is the finest vehicle I've ever had. And some of my friends have even asked, what's it really like to have an electric Mercedes? Is it easy to own and operate? Is it easy to charge? Well, it's as easy as owning a regular gas guzzler, except you never have to put gas in it. And I never stress about battery charging. It's got a long range, so no problem there. And it's easy to charge. You just plug it in, and that's it. Right now, Mercedes-Benz of Stockton is offering up to $19,000 in Mercedes-Benz incentives on select new vehicles and certified pre-owned Mercedes vehicles, as low as 1.99% APR for qualified buyers. So head on out to Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. It's just a half hour from Sacramento, right off I-5, or online anytime at mbfstockton.com. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. Three questions, three answers. It's three for madness on the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Here's question one. All right, Katie will join us uh, in about 40 minutes. We're going to look at these uh, women's tournament ratings. They're insane. And uh, should Caitlin Clark... Go to the WNBA. Uh, also, uh, the Kings beat the Clippers. We've got a standings update for you next. In the meantime, Christopher Lyon, three for madness, question one. How did the Kings handle the Clippers so well last night? It's a great question, Chris. Uh, Clippers were slightly favored. Uh, well, first off, when, by the way, when we read that morning that the Kings were, uh, excuse me, the Clippers were favored by two and a half, let's remember that was before Kawhi Leonard was out. So step number one, I'm, and I want to take, look, I'll make up for this. I'm not trying to poop on the parade in any way, shape, or form. All jokes aside, no Kawhi Leonard probably helped the situation. I, I don't think I'm making a stretch there. But they still had Paul George. They still had James Harden. They still had uh, Ivka Zubac. They still had plenty of guys. And in the beginning, first part of the game, definitely looked like the Clippers were were here for uh, for the W. But something happened. you know, And they, they came out, the Kings, from the second half. And at first I was like, God, why do they always come out flat? That lasts like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then they just turned it on and they didn't look back and they got that momentum. And I think they started believing in themselves and they locked down on defense. We have some defensive numbers, Jason, to get to uh, here in a little bit, but this, it's not as easy to point out as points and rebounds and assists. Lou, I got to take that call later. Hmm. It's not as easy to, to point out, but bottom line is the defense, I think more than anything helped them. Yeah, the other part, too, that, look, we uh, – what was the game the Kings had? Oh, it was the first game against Dallas when the Kings ultimately got worked in that game. And we said, look, it's probably unfair to label it this way entirely. But remember, we were talking about five games in seven days for the Kings and said, hey, let's see the second time they played. Let's see if that was any part of a factor of the amount of games the Kings have played. It was the only time they played five and seven. My point I'm bringing up on that is this was – the end of a long road trip for the Clippers. They had been back east, and so yeah. they had played three straight games back east. They, to me, they looked a little bit off, and Kawhi didn't play, but the Kings were part of that. Right. I, I also thought the Kings took their spirit. Um, the play I remember was, I believe, the end of the third. The Kings made a couple of really nice plays. They scored, I think, a, like a dagger three to end the quarter, but there was 2.2 left, and the inbound to Paul George. 
Dave and he caught it and Paul George just ate it. He's like, yeah, yeah, quarter's over. <laughs> right. I mean, the the right. chance of scoring is You're small, right, but still. But like, there's no effort. Pass it to someone else who wants to shoot from half court. I mean, the Kings scored at the end of the first. It was like this huge momentum play by Trey Lyles. Well, it just like, oh uh, yeah, we're down 18. And are you done? Are you done? Are you worried about the uh, field goal percentage there? Paul? I mean, it was just like. Again, likely you're not scoring, but to me it was like you're you're not trying at this point. The Kings took their spirit away, which was awesome. Cut number two or question two, please. Question two, Chris. Let me ask it because we've we. I'm sorry, we've edited it, and I don't want to put you in a bad spot. Who was your Velvet King <laughs> player of the game? Who was your Velvet King player of the game? Um, uh, this is a tough one because there's three candidates. You, know, I'm going to give it to Davion. Okay. I am, and and. I will take all arguments for the other two, one of which I'm sure you'll bring up. I just, I love the way it, it's not just how he scored, it's when he scored and you add in that defense. That's the Davion Mitchell I want to see. Yeah, it's really tough because if you're giving it to one, I do feel like you're sliding multiple people here, but I'm going to go Alex Len. Mm-hmm. But I mean, sorry, Davion. Sorry, Trey. Trey Lyles. I, you guys were great. Right. Great. Um, it's kind of like Alex Len got the defense player of the game. It could have been multiple people. I thought Keon, who didn't really even score, was really good. I yep. mean, he just he, he helped him in a lot of ways. But I'm going to go with Alex Lynn. I thought he had a great impact. Three for Madness. Quickly, number three. Question three. Another team held below 100 points last night. Are you getting used to it? No, I, I could get used to it. I want to get used to it. No, I'm not getting used to it, but... It's certainly getting there. I mean, this team, and we've got some numbers Chris Watkins put out, a couple of our other guys put out that are really kind of encouraging about defense. It's not a coincidence. It's not uh, the other team just happened to be off. I mean, the Kings really honestly have taken a turn really since March 1st, I think, right around there on uh, on their defense. If you're going to lose Herder and Monk, and they provide so many great things, and you're going to play Keon and yeah. Davion, you have to be better defensively. Yes, 100%. And they are. And maybe the argument could be made that they're more complete. I, I don't know. I love Monk here. I love Kevin. You wish they could be all of this, yeah. offense and defensive oriented. But this version of the Kings, what do they have to be without those guys? They have to be good defensively. And I think when they play Fox, yeah. Ellis, and and Mitchell, they're, they're pretty small, but man, they get after it defensively. What Alex Lenz done, what Trey Lyles does with his toughness. Yep. Keegan, love I mean, the Keegan. You're absolutely yeah, right. It's it's you it, love to see it. Last year they were historically great offensively, which that number now is not that great. And what is year. it? The rising tide with the ships and all that. Everyone else. I mean, honestly, if you see Keon playing like that, and and Keegan and De- like, how do the rest of you guys not not do that? Of course they do because they see everybody else yeah. doing that, and they're like, I gotta I gotta play my part. And there's more substance to it when you do this defensively. Okay, get used to that. We'll take a break. Well, and by the way, somebody on the text line, 916-339-1140 YouTube, what is that saying? Right, A rising tide, something with ships. I always get it wrong. We're going to need a bigger boat. We need a bigger boat. Kings beat the Clippers. They start out the road trip. We'll check out the standings and a few more things coming up next. You never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Out of Keegan, going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Keegan, can he do it? Yes, there's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back. He just knocked down his 12th three-pointer, a Kings franchise record. He's got 45 points. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Arnold Law Firm. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCR Ray 3 Weather Center. It is Wednesday. We're out the door to a comfortable start. As we get through the day today, we'll see partly cloudy skies. We'll have a bit of a southwest breeze this afternoon to early evening with highs today in the upper 60s. Get the latest forecast on the KCR Ray 3 News and the KCR Ray 3 app. Collision can turn anyone's life upside down in a heartbeat. So remember to be a little more alert on the road and stay safe. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. This is for the men who never settle. The ones who believe only quitters end a game in a tie. The type of guys who choose the bar with the biggest TVs to overcompensate for theirs at home. And the men who use PTO to catch afternoon basketball in March with the boys. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. 
Who wants to settle for a single TV? With more TVs, bigger screens, plus our fabulous scenic views, there's more to watch at Twin Peaks. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority. Our customers love doing business with us and you will too. Looking to own or lease? During the spring sales event, drive a brand new Accord or Civic. Visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com, your one-stop Honda shop. Folsom Lake Honda, yeah, your one-stop Honda shop. Dirty Heads, live in concert, every single day, Friday, April 12th, 7.30 p.m., the venue in Thunder Valley. Say I'm crazy, but I have a special guest, the elevators, on sale at thundervalleyresort.com. Don't miss Dirty Heads Live. Rescue me. Welcome to a brighter future with Aztec Solar, serving Sacramento since 1980. Everyone knows that solar saves money. How much? The answer is a few clicks away. Visit yourpowersavings.com. It's fast, easy, and reliable, giving you instant insight into your potential savings. I used to pay $400 a month to the power company, and that $400 a month added up to $48,000 over the past 10 years. That all changed when I switched to solar with Aztec Solar. Now it's your turn to stop overpaying for electricity. Calculate your solar savings right now at yourpowersavings.com. And Aztec Solar will email or text you how much you'll save every month. Plus, we've got an exclusive offer for you. Get your solar electrical system for just $9,995 cash price after incentives. Don't wait. This deal won't last forever. Visit yourpowersavings.com today and take the first step towards energy independence with Aztec Solar. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline, Folsom Lake Honda. First and foremost, they got to win, right? They have to win as many games as possible. If you're thinking about the Warriors, you're thinking about the Lakers, uh, the more wins you can get, the teams behind you can't catch you. I mean, that's the the obvious statement there. But uh, by getting the victory last night, what they did do was avoid the Lakers pulling a little bit closer. So if you look at what happened last night as we look at standings watch, um, the Kings, with the victory, moved into a tie with the Phoenix Suns. For the seventh spot. Now, by tiebreaker, the second tiebreaker, the Kings, if the playoffs started today, would be the seventh seed. They would host the Phoenix Suns in a play in game. Winner would be the seventh seed. Loser would host the winner of the 9 10 game. 9 and 10 are still the Lakers and the Warriors. Both teams won yesterday. And I think what happened yesterday and really over the last couple of days, what we're pretty close to eliminating from happening is Houston getting into the top 10. Houston had a great run to get back into the mix. They lost again yesterday, so now they are three back of the Warriors, and most teams have seven games to go. Possible, but doubtful. So I think the 10 are in. It's just what will be the final portion of the standings. you got Denver, Minnesota, and OKC battling for the top spot. Denver is still a half point, a half game ahead of the other two. They only have six games remaining. Minnesota and OKC tied for that second spot. Uh, Minnesota has the tiebreaker there. The Clippers alone in fourth, not catching the top three and keeping their eye on the teams behind them. Now, the Warriors winning last night, where that helped the Kings, is they defeated Dallas. And so a couple days ago, when the Kings lost to Dallas and lost Malik Monk, they were two back. 
not in a great position, losing Monk. They already have Herter out. They've won the last two games. That's kind of restored order here and restored some faith. And so the Kings right now begin today, not playing, but one game out of fifth and one and a half games ahead of ninth. But remember, the one and a half ahead of ninth is really two and a half because they have the tiebreaker on the Lakers. So as of now, things are standing much, much better for the Kings at this point than going into the day yesterday. So they got a few things that played into their favor, but there are still some opportunities coming up that are very difficult games, including a four-game road trip that's going to start tomorrow in New York, back-to-back in Boston, then it's Brooklyn, and they finish with OKC before those final three games at home. And in the race, the teams are chasing Dallas and New Orleans, who are tied for fifth. They still play New Orleans. They're tied literally with Phoenix. They still play Phoenix. So you could argue those two games will be critical. They don't have the tiebreaker with New Orleans, and the Phoenix game will be the head-to-head decider. This will be the fifth game. Kind of an added game, right, because they played them in the play-in, and it's one of the teams they play five times. Actually, both are teams they play five times, but New Orleans is already at four games to none. So standings-wise, it was big for Sacramento to get the win, to restore the faith and the belief. I mean, I think that's what's important. I think when they lost to Dallas and lost Malik Monk, after finding out after the game that he was going to be out and reevaluated in four to six weeks, that was really killer news for the Kings. And so to beat Utah, which was like, oh, you've got to beat Utah. Well, you still have to go do it. And remember, that game's tied at 58 in the third quarter. The Kings, boom, hit him with a 23-2 to two run. End all the doubt and get a, get a needed win. Yesterday, there was some doubt. That was a tough game. And to beat the Clippers, even with Kawhi out, that was still a really, really nice performance. Sets them up on this road trip. It begins in New York. Like I said, the Knicks have lost three in a row. They have not been the same team since they lost OG on Newbie. They've been without Julius Randle. They'll play smaller. They, they I thought that was a really good game they had here with the Kings. Uh, Jalen Brunson was the star of the day, one of the best individual performances by anybody we've seen come in to Golden 1 this year. So I think by getting that victory, it leaves that opportunity of being a top six seed still in play, where I think a lot of people are starting to you know, get comfortable with, well, they're a playing team. And a playing team, again, I want to remind everybody, would feel, I think, to some as... I don't even, failure is too strong, but a disappointment. I think it only becomes a disappointment if you don't get through it. You can still, if you're playing team and you get through it, it's fine. You're a playoff team. Then you're in, you're in the postseason. I think it's important to get there, to go through that experience again, to keep finding out as much as you can about this roster, to see another playoff with Sabonis, to see another playoff for Keegan Murray, to see another playoff for De'Aaron Fox, the guys that you believe are your true core of this team. To see what it looks like. Do you think you can? You have the elements to be where they want to ultimately get to? A championship-type team. You find out more every time you go through the regular season, through adversity, like they're going through now. You find out more. And I think last night, Fox and Sabonis elevated their play. Keegan was very aggressive, and the bench was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal in the game yesterday, which they needed all of that. So tonight, there'll be some games I know we'll talk about a little bit later in our standings watch that are truly going to be important to check out. But first and foremost, it's, it's the Kings try to get as many wins as they possibly can in the final seven games. And like I said, you win all of them. People behind you literally can't catch you. If you win as many as you can, you're going to do some damage on the teams that uh, are in front of you. And I'm still of the, of the mindset where they really need to get in. I want them to get in. I want them to get whatever happens to be the most favorable matchup. My opinion, it would not be Denver, but if it's Denver, it's Denver. If you play Denver, that's the cards you're dealt, and you got to see if you can figure out a way to beat them. I think that would be difficult. I know the Kings beat them three out of four. The only time Denver was 100% healthy, Kings got smoked. The other part, too, is this version of the Kings, because we got to prepare ourselves that they're going to be without Malik Monk. So what what is this version of the Kings matchup like against Minnesota or OKC or Denver? the teams they would likely face if they get in. So last night, a good night. They got to try to make it uh, even better and could help their standings if they can win 
a couple games. Two, ideally, if they could get more than that, that'd be awesome on this upcoming road trip. All right, break time for us. But as we go to break, your opportunity for the Jiffy Lube drive of the game, 1-800-920-1140, 1-800-920-1140, or 339-1140. If you know, if you were listening, if you were paying attention last night, maybe you wrote it down, maybe you've just got a great memory, but you can identify the Jiffy Lube drive of the game. We will take the first caller to correctly identify that when we come back, and you'll have a chance to win a $100 gift card to the great folks at Jiffy Lube. You can do whatever you'd like with that gift card to help uh, get your car running right uh, this spring, right? So we will do that, and we will talk more about the NCAA tournament. The women's ratings are out, and what you all were watching, apparently, will give you those numbers and tell you the impact of that when we come back here on Sacktown Sports. Harrison Barnes plays here. Harrison Barnes drives it, handles it, the Black Falcon Sacktown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Hi, everyone. It's Emron Pilati, host of the True Sports Card Show here on Sacktown Sports 1140 every Saturday at 10 a.m. Would you like a chance to meet Ricky Henderson, Dennis Rodman, Johnny Manziel, Randy Johnson, Frank Thomas, Vlad Guerrero Sr., Dave Stewart, and our favorite Malik Monk and meet over 90 sports card dealers all in one weekend? This is your chance to do it on May 17th through the 19th at the Roseville Fairgrounds at the Sacramento Autograph Expo. You can get all the information about the show on our website at sacautographexpo.com. That's sacautographexpo.com. Thinking of remodeling your home? Say goodbye to endless internet searches and visit Subcontractors United. Find a list of three pre-qualified and licensed contractors in each home service category. From cabinets to landscapers and everything in between, Subcontractors United makes finding qualified contractors free and easy with no accounts to set up. Visit subcontractorsunited.com and experience the joy of stress-free home improvement. Save time and money at subcontractorsunited.com. If you're in the market for a new or used car right now, or if you just want to go see like what new technologies in the new cars nowadays, stop by and see my friends at Elk Grove Kia and the Elk Grove Vada Mall before you go anywhere else. As soon as you step onto the lot, you're going to feel like family. You're going to know why they have so many five-star reviews at Elk Grove Kia and why they're the number one Sacramento Kia dealer. Like, I love this five-star review right here. Quote, I could not be happier. My husband surprised me with my new tell you ride. I love it. The staff is friendly, kind, and conscious. Took their time to find the perfect car. Thank you guys for the hard work. Great job. I love my new telly. There you go. That's just another satisfied customer at Elk Grove Kia. So in addition to all the five-star reviews, the finance team at Elk Grove Kia has over 100 years combined experience. You know what that means? Financing for everyone. And we know going to the car dealership can be overwhelming, but come experience Elk Grove Kia. They go above and beyond to make sure this is an automotive adventure for you. Check out what's on special and what's on the lot today at ElkGroveKia.com. Or better yet, come see everything in person at Elk Grove Kia in the Elk Grove Auto Mall. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art Support could be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Sports Fix. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. All right, welcome back. Thank you. 
Uh, I was, uh, I'll, I'll, I don't know when I can. Um, we'll, uh, we'll update on the uh, ASF. Maybe we'll switch that to tomorrow, but have a little bit more background. Chris Guerrero's like, Dave's getting reprimanded. Mm. <laughs> Uh, no, but you know what? It's always you got a call. It's always great to and and let me just be clear. The, no, it wasn't the Kings that called me, uh, but on the A segment, um, I always my my cover is always people that know things. So I got a call from a couple people that know things. They gave me a little bit of background on uh, on what we talked about, and I said, and I'm I'm always this way. Hey, look, if I'm wrong, call me, and I'll come forward and I'll put I'll put that out there. Most of what we talked about is dead on, but I, I will have, I was just told a couple of ways where um, when it comes to, if the A's were to come here and try to stay here, for example, in this world, um, one of the points I had made is, hey, there's no appetite for public subsidy. There's no real appetite for public subsidy. That's not wrong, but um, there are some. May not be as much needed. Yes. There's some creative roads that could, and there are some tools the kings have in their toolbox um that i was reminded of that could definitely make that part of the path easier so we'll share that tomorrow and and that's always good again we want to just make sure we get you guys the truth from if not from the horse's mouths from the mouth of whoever feeds the horses the hey person Hey. hey, so uh, appreciate those folks that called, appreciate the conversation, and my job is just to relay that to you guys and get make sure you get the most, uh, but, but <laughs> there's no reference. Uh, there's a couple of really good friends that called, I'm like, hey, did you think about this? I was like, no, I didn't even know about that. Okay, well, that's interesting, so we'll talk about that. We'll uh, we'll have some time, I think, probably uh, tomorrow, but uh, every, everything else pretty much still stands. We'll get this thing done. By the way, uh, one way or the other, we'll get it. We'll get it sorted out. Rising tides raise all ships. I think is what the saying is. Thank you for that. Also, uh, Jiffy Lube driving the game yesterday. It happened. There were they was paying a, attention. Yeah, were, were they paying attention? Well, the, the question is, was Raj paying attention? I think so. Raj, you're on with Dave and Jason and Chris. Good morning. Good morning, Raj. What was the Jiffy Lube drive of the game? It was the Fox two-pointer dunk after Alice Flynn's steal in second quarter. Well, we'll see if you're right. Specific. And also, right or wrong, we will have breaking NBA news, real breaking NBA news, right after that. Chris, get the sounder ready. Let's see what this is, though. Trying to poke it away. Arden protects, runs into Lynn. Now on the double team. Lynn knocks it away. It's grabbed by De'Aaron Fox. Being chased, but he goes and elevates, and he rips down a two-hand flush. Let's make it your Jiffy Lube drive of the game. The great defense on the part of Alex Lynn triggering that opportunity on the double team blitz. The seven footer against Harden knocked it away. Fox tracked it down, went to the iron, elevated, and ripped home the two hand jam. Ah, there, you go, Raj. there it is, guys. Congratulations. You got yourself a $100 gift certificate to Jiffy Woo. Lube to do whatever you wish. With your vehicle, hey, listen, um, what radio station makes all your Jiffy Lube $100 gift certificate dreams come true, Raj? 1140. Good enough yeah. for me. Hold the line, yeah. and uh, Chris will take care of you. We have breaking news in the NBA, Chris. Work, Raj. When work. it breaks, we have it first. It's Sacktown Sports breaking news. All right. Uh, the Charlotte Hornets, uh, and actually a candidate, if you might remember, for the coaching job for the Sacramento Kings, Steve Clifford. Well, he's stepping down as coach at the end of the season and working to finalize a front office role with the franchise, Clifford informed his assistants and players on Wednesday morning. Now, what is that? Generally, I have no connections to that, but we've seen this movie before. That's, Steve, we're going to fire you, or you, or Steve says, I'm going to quit, and they say, you got a bunch of time left on your contract. And I call it the, uh, well, I think a little bit of like that was with Alvin Gentry, for example, here in yeah. Sacramento, where the Kings and Alvin were going to part ways. Alvin still had time on his deal. They everyone loves Alvin. Yeah. He's a he truly is still around. He is truly still around. He's not sitting in his office, you know, playing solitaire on the, on the computer. He is an active presence and a welcome presence with the franchise. And he had time left on his deal, so it's like, hey, why don't we adjust what you're doing and 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 stay with the franchise? Sounds like Clifford 
uh, is going to do the same thing, uh, something similar. So there you go. And yeah, uh, second run through there as the coach, but uh, second second time same results. That's a franchise that's really struggled. They have the longest yeah. active playoff drought right now. Yeah, they do. <laughs> imagine imagine not making the playoffs. <laughs> Couldn't be us, maybe. Let's better make sure they do. Better make sure they do. I'm gonna start another streak, dude. Yeah, don't even don't even verbalize that, Jason. Okay. Jeez. Um. Katie's coming up in 10 minutes. The NCAA women's tournament, uh, the ratings are in and they are, they are real and they are fantastic. That's a Seinfeld reference. <laughs> I think. Um, 12.3 million viewers for Iowa LSU. That's the, we're just going to focus on this game. That, that doesn't count all the other games that have had great numbers, but this was the marquee. They had more viewers than any women's college basketball game ever. More viewers than the 2023 NBA Finals. More viewers than the 2023 World Series, the Orange Bowl, the Big Ten Championship, the Cotton Bowl, the Pac-12 Championship. This is college football. The Big 12 Championship, all 2023. The Peach Bowl, Thursday night NFL football. And every 2023 college football regular season game except Ohio State and Michigan. Anytime, I don't know why, but for some reason, like, women's basketball can be like a, I don't know, man. Especially for someone who lives on social media a lot, it can just be a cesspool of conversation where anything good comes out. It's like, yeah, well, it's because of the thing. Or, yeah, but the other thing, this is the type of stuff that's, like, completely undeniable. You, yeah. you straight up beat the NFL Thursday night. You beat the World Series. And, by the way, this isn't the championship. This is just an LSU-Iowa rematch Elite Eight game. And they're pulling numbers like that. Yeah, but it had everything that I apparently, and I'm going to say the collective we want. Names, stars. Stars work, Dave. As frustrated as, as we get here for the Sacramento Kings. Uh, here would be a classic example of this. Kings play the Lakers. Kings beat the Lakers. Great game. Sports Center. They'll show LeBron. They'll show AD. And maybe one Fox highlight. Oh, by the way, the Kings won. Yeah. Yeah, they won by 30. And you're going to show six LeBron highlights, an AD highlight, and then, oh, yeah, Fox layup. And, yeah, Kings won. Stars. It's uh, it, Right or wrong, it works. Caitlin Clark's a star. Angel Reese is a star. They played last year. They're back again, and that's the beauty of what the women's game has now. One, they've got multiple teams that can win it all. They've got great teams. Look, the best team is South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I don't know what their ratings were. They don't have Caitlin Clark. Right. They don't have Angel Reese. They don't have that natural storyline. They don't have this other subplot that's going on with Coach Mulkey and uh, these uh, you know, comments and articles that were coming out on her and the one that was in the L.A. Times that was – you know, sexist and racist towards yep. the team. I mean, just some, yep. but it, it's drawing interest in more and more people. And then the game was good. And so the game was great. Here's my question. So next game, it's Iowa in the semis. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be another huge game. But yep. if Caitlin Clark gets eliminated. Yeah. And again, they're playing UConn. Right. This is a mm -hmm. national power that's been yeah. great with Gino Ariyama. Mm -hmm. And Paige Beckers is really good. Very good. But I think you've lost your biggest star. Now, they're still going to do well. Sure. Women's basketball they won't still do awesome. those ratings. Though. No, but if Caitlin Clark gets to the finals and faces South Carolina undefeated, that's going to be another massive night. Another one. By the way, on the Steve Clifford thing, I was waiting for this to drop. Uh, according to Adrian Wojnarowski, I know we're jumping around here. Uh, among the league's assistant coaching candidates to be considered, you want to take a wild guess as to the first name on that list? Does it rhyme with 40 Jernandez? As a matter of fact, Jason, it does. It doesn't even rhyme with it. That's actually who it is. 40 Jernandez. Oh, good. Well, he can take it. He Jordy can, take can stay. It. Jordy can stay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Miami's Chris Quinn, Phoenix is Kevin it. Young, Boston's Charles Lee, and Sacramento's Jordy. I mean, honestly, Jordy don't. Like, look at the options. What? Who did he interview with last year? Phoenix? Like, mm -hmm. he'll have better options. I mean, look, <clears> you got to <throat> do what you got to do what's best for you, but. I said this I don't think that's a good job. I said this was la I said this last year and I was wrong and I was so happy to be wrong. I hope I'm wrong again, but good luck. Uh yeah. Um 
Something I, else better will be open. Jordy's got at some. I don't want to lose Jordy. I hope he stays. I'll mow his lawn, but at some point, it's He's like, gone. dude, they're only going to pull the chair out so many yeah. times. You got to do what's best Especially for you. If that's what he wants to be. If right. he wants to be, head, right. go for it. Right. Right. And I, what I appreciate about Mike Brown, amongst many things, mm -hmm. He's comfortable enough to let that shine go to those other guys and have opportunities because he's confident, too, that I'll bring in another person. I'll elevate someone else. We'll still have a good coaching staff. Um, by the way, congratulate, uh, congratulations to Lindsey Harding. Oh, my goodness gracious. Coach, coach of, the year. of the year. That was awesome. Well, why? Great ovation. But wow. Here's my question about that, and I'm not trying to crap on the parade or anything. I just have one question. Hold on a second. Here comes the crap. I've been told that women can't coach men's basketball. Oh, I, I told was wrong. told that. By whom? A lot of social media. A lot of the people. Mm. A, a lot, lot of a lot of men. A lot of the people say they won't respond. It, it's just not not going to work. Yeah, guys can coach women's basketball because they don't care. Men aren't going to listen to women. I mean, at this point, it's kind of weird. Like between the Lindsey Hardings and the the Becky Hammonds, and I know Don Staley's very comfortable where she's at, and the ninety other qualified candidates. It's like. We've got to have a women's head coach in the NBA here. Oh, it's like, coming. It's coming. Like, so now. Yeah. Like, I would have thought it would have already happened. Same here. But At this point, it's like, dude, come on. Like, right. It'll happen. I thought it was going to be Becky Hammond in San Antonio. I yeah. thought she was going to take over for Pop. That that surprised me when that didn't happen. Um, it's got to happen, man. Yeah. Coach of the year. Those are professionals. Right. Those are men who are pros, many of which have played or will play in the NBA. Coach of the year. Should not matter uh, the gender. Who cares? I don't care if it's a man, a woman, a, a froggy, a doggy. If you can coach, you can coach. Coach Frog. Coach Frog. <laughs> congratulations. And Lindsay's such a great person, too. And congratulations uh, not just to... Uh, not just to Lindsay, but also the team, the franchise yeah. itself, everyone involved in that, the whoever hired, the people that hired her, yeah. the people that supported her, everybody. Team out. Stockton Kings in the Warriors in the playoffs. Kings and Warriors again in the playoffs. <sighs> Let's go. Cool. Tomorrow. So now, hold on. So now we have Coach of the Year, Executive of the Year, G League Coach of the Year, yep. soon to be Sixth Man of the Year. <sighs> Just – all NBA last year. Vivek's all busy trying to get baseball. Vivek yeah. needs to build a bigger trophy case. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. We will uh, take a break when we come back. Hey, how about Katie Christensen? Hey, we know her. We know her. She knows Lindsay a little bit. We'll uh, we'll, we'll talk to her uh, about that real quick. And then uh, this road trip, last night's game, and uh, so much more. Look, these guys are opening up against uh, the Knicks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they lost to the Knicks uh, in the last month at home. This is going to be another knockout, dragout game. Jason, you're going to need energy for 48 minutes. Maybe and more. Maybe more. Yeah, if it goes to overtime, my goodness gracious, that's exactly right. What better way to do that? Let us switch to electric with my good friends over at American Energy who are inviting you to do so. Right meow. Make the switch to electric this spring. Save big with American Energy. Stay ahead of those spiky energy bills this summer. Well, up to nine grand in rebates on a new ultra high efficiency comfort system. American Energy is providing huge rebates up to nine grand from SMUD and they will do all the paperwork. You don't have to worry about a thing. They do this all the time. They know how to do it. They'll attach all the, the coupon codes, the barcodes and whatever they need. They'll install one of many that you choose, incredibly efficient AC options that are available to you right now. Get rid of those fluctuating gas bills in the winter. Switch to year-round all-electric with American Energy. Let American Energy perform a free at-home energy efficiency analysis. See where they can help you save for the warmer months ahead. In business since 1981. A-plus, Better Business Bureau. They're good people. I know these people. They're good people. Trust me. Learn more by calling 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990 or American Energy. AmericanEnergyAir.com. American Energy, making the uncomfortable comfortable. Get comfortable. Katie, she's going to join us next. Subscribe to Sacktown Sports on YouTube. The Drive Guys, live Monday through Friday from 6 to 6. Plus, view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at YouTube.com slash Sacktown Sports. 
Did you know that feeling sluggish or weighed down could be a sign that your digestive system isn't working at its best? Taking Metamucil every day can help. Metamucil fiber powders help promote your daily digestive health using a plant-based fiber called psyllium. The gelling action of this special fiber traps and removes waste so you can feel lighter and more energetic. Metamucil, promoting digestive health for a better you. Learn more at metamucil.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease ebay motors is here for the ride go ahead feel your engine admire that perfectly installed exhaust your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love with ebay motors you get over 122 million parts to keep it running and with ebay guaranteed fit they'll be the perfect fit every time plus at these prices well we're burning rubber not cash Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Bonnie. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCRA 3 Weather Center. It is Wednesday. We're out the door to a comfortable start. As we get through the day today, we'll see partly cloudy skies. We'll have a bit of a southwest breeze this afternoon to early evening with highs today in the upper 60s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app. Once upon a time, you could get a heater tune-up or an air conditioner tune-up for just $59 or both for $89. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. I thought you were going to read me a bedtime story. Shh, go to sleep now. <gasps> Bonnie.com. License 696-355. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil Change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full synthetic oil change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area for oil changes. Visit JiffyLube.com for more details and valuable coupons today. The IRS finally caught up with Louie. I hadn't paid my taxes in eight years. I owed the IRS a lot of money. Louie was in deep trouble. We're going to take your house, put a lien on your bank account, uh, garnish your pay. They don't care. They're going to take your paycheck. Louie found out about Optima Tax Relief, the leading tax resolution firm. A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau, they've resolved over $1 billion for their clients. Optima Tax, they helped me. They calmed me down. They made me feel comfortable and I trust them. Louie has a lot to be thankful for. I don't owe the IRS anymore and I'm able to live a comfortable life, a lot better life. It was because of Optima Tax. For tax help you can trust, call Optima now for a free consultation. Take it from Louie. If you owe the IRS, don't go it alone. Give Optima Tax a call. They can help you. Call 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. Optima Tax Relief. Testimonial from an actual client. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Welcome to the April Adventure Sales Event at Kia Vacaville, where they're ushering a new season with unbeatable lease options for their 2024 lineup. As April blooms with possibilities, it's the perfect time to discover the thrill of driving a Kia, featuring the luxurious and versatile Kia Telluride. During April Adventures, Kia Vacaville is excited to unveil their top models with irresistible lease offers. Feel the exhilaration of the all-new Kia Sportage, blending captivating design with dynamic performance. Performance. Experience the impressive fuel efficiency of the Kia Nero, a hybrid wonder that stretches your adventures further. And don't miss out on the chance to boost your journeys with the luxurious comfort and practicality of the Kia Telluride. Available now at Kia Vacaville. Embrace the look of spring with their eco-friendly Kia hybrid options. Tailored for those who seek efficiency without sacrificing style with the EV9 in stock. Kia Vacaville is your premier destination for electric excitement. Model availability, lease options, and features may vary. For more details, visit Kia Vacaville and embark on your April adventure today. KHDKAM HD1 Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the power business technology Toshiba Studios. This is this is Sacktown Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom. with Jason Ross. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Joining us right now, all packed up and 
ready to go. Because uh, for once, there was organization, and there was control, and there was tempo in the household. You know why, Jason? Why? His dad was there. That's why. Came oh, down from the mountain and regulated. Yeah. Oh. He was there. Saw him on TV. And uh, her, her kid get more FaceTime than she does these days, the other day. Did that create chaos, you think? Um, I No, I think he comes down and eliminates the chaos because oh. she's got 700 dogs and dog food and got to do this and pull weeds out in the porch. And she's refinishing some sort of antique and she's got to do her taxes and all that. And dad comes oh, down. time. Because dad's a, dad's a ranch guy. Like yeah. He knows how to regulate and goes, hey, get do the thing. Yeah. And, and she does the thing. Okay. Welcoming uh, her in right now, as a matter of fact, the very organized Katie Christensen. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Was any of that accurate? Come on. No, no. <laughs> hey, come on. Dad comes down and regulates. Uh, he He's down here. Um, it's, it's Easter break for the littles this week. And so, as you could probably imagine, that's pretty tough to be working and packing and leaving and so, uh, yeah, dad's helping uh, with the little bit. Sometimes I feel like it's just like having a second child. <laughs> well, you say tomato. Uh, last night, <laughs> last night, Katie, the uh, Sacramento Kings did something I didn't expect them to do. Of course, that was before Kawhi Leonard said he was out. But I don't think Kawhi uh, not playing should take anything away from this game. They still had Paul George. They still had James Harden. This still was a very tough matchup. And the Kings showed up. And uh, quite frankly, Katie, for someone who often – uh, sees the sky falling a little bit, and I still kind of do in some aspects, but I was very proud of this team last night, Katie. They were fantastic. I yeah. mean, I thought, honestly, I thought the bench came in and were like the difference makers in that game. And especially during that stretch where, you know, there was that that run that they went on, I thought, I think a lot of it, it the first quarter was just, oh, it was mm. ugly. It was brutal. Neither team could hit a, hit a basket. And, you know, turning the ball over left and right, both sides. And then, you know, I thought the bench immediately came in and stabilized things. And that's when they were able to, to kind of turn the pages and, and go on a run. Also, Jason, sorry, I do have to mention this because you, you said that. It, can we stop with the whole talking about the Kings winning the game? I think they were up like 16 with 342 left. I might have that wrong. And you, I think you said so, you caught yourself because you were like, the game's not over yet, but the Kings win tonight is going to mean that did it, did it. Man, I was so worried if for some reason there was a comeback that announcer Jinx was going to get hung <laughs> around your neck. Just, you know, you got to watch out for that, Katie. What you say matters. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, you never know what's going to happen in the NBA. Three, four minutes is, is kind of a long time and it can. Someone can go on a little mini run and yeah. it can kind of, you know, make everyone tighten up and you just got to be careful. <laughs> yeah. Um, Katie, you talked about how great the bench was. I, I, I was so impressed by them really for two games now too. And it's something they have to do, but to actually do it is different. Like we know Keegan has to be more aggressive. He's doing it. We know Davion can't just be a defender. He's doing it. Alex Lynn's impact. Trey Lyles comes right back and just really has elevated his game. I don't know if it's innately or they were told to, but look, I think those guys that were kind of just fit in guys are now knowing they've got to do a lot more with Herter and Malik Monk, and they're getting it. How different is that to kind of adjust your role this late in the season, knowing that this team obviously needs all of these guys to be good? Well, I think they clearly understand the assignment, right? Um, I don't. I don't think you know they're all professionals. I don't think they need to be told. Obviously, there are conversations being had in terms of, hey, this is you know what we need from you. I, I you know, I've talked about it before over the last couple of weeks, and really credited Mike Brown because I feel like for some time now, really post All Star break, he's gotten great production from from kind of the ancillary guys on the, on the bench, right? The Davion Mitchell, Chris Duarte, like Kessler coming in and, and doing a great job as well. And these are guys that they went through long stretches of, you know, registering DNPs, you know, and, and not really being a part of the fold. And then Mike doesn't really make a decision like that and just say, Hey, this is who we're writing with. And that's, that right he he'll always bring guys back in give them another opportunity and when he's done that you know kind of midway point of the season with Chris with Davion um he he's gotten great production out of them and they've gotten a little bit of confidence and then when you have an injury guys aren't coming in and 
you know, being completely cold, not having touched the floor, not having contributed. And I think that, you know, from a confidence standpoint and perspective, it really, really has saved them over this stretch where now you're starting to be just hammered with injuries. And I give him so much credit for that. And now Sasha's back and, and he's, you know, getting the chance to kind of work himself back in and Trey's stepped back and like, like no time has passed. And I, I honestly think that the time that Trey was off was probably a good thing for him because he was shooting the ball really poorly prior to his injury. And he'd had a stretch of games where, man, the three ball just was not falling for him. And that's a really big part of his role, right? To be able to come in and knock down those open threes, kind of be a stretch guy. Um, and so I think that, you know, when you, from a mental standpoint, when you have that time off and you kind of forget, Hey, I've been struggling shooting the ball. He stepped back in, he looks good. He's shooting the ball with confidence. And so I honestly, you guys, I, I truly do credit the coaching staff and Mike Brown for the approach that they take with guys that kind of, you know, can be those deeper bench guys and it's, it's paying off right now. Katie joining us, Katie, we have uh, coined a new phrase here. Uh, term, I should say, an award, you know, much like the Wolody, uh, much like our work on the Sabonis chant, we are now introducing uh, the Velvet King. And what that is, is Malik in Arabic, not sure if you know this, <laughs> means king. And um, Red Velvet is Red Velvet. So that's Malik Monk and Kevin Herter. So every night, we're going to award after a win the award for whichever player stepped up to help fill the void of missing Kevin Herter and, of course, Malik Monk. So we're calling that calling it the Velvet King. The Velvet King, half red. Well, well, Katie, the original thing I wrote yeah, down this was, a work in progress. was Malevin Hertunk, which is a combo of their names, but that just doesn't, it doesn't really flow, does no. it? No. So Jason, who is great at trademarks uh, and, and messaging, uh, he came up with the Velvet King. I love that idea. So last night, who was your Velvet King? And feel free to use that on the uh, TV. <laughs> Katie's kings of the game. Yeah. yeah. Um, who was my my velvet king? I pr I would probably I would probably say in this stand, instance, um, Davion. Same as you. Yeah. That's... I mean, he he was the one that immediately came in and started talking shots down and defensively. Like, how great is it when you know? I think it was James Harden that tried to post him up mm -hmm. in like the center of the key and. He had him down there pretty deep in the paint. And, um, yeah, no one came to help because it's it's a luxury with Davion. He might be, quote, unquote, undersized, but he is so strong and so physical and such a great defender and, and kind of knows how to, you know, take care of different situations from a defensive standpoint. And he had Davion practically under the basket and not a single person came to help, which is awesome that you can have that, right? And they got the stop. You know, he forced the miss, and that way you don't have James Harden, who is a fantastic passer, being able to dump off to somebody right under the rim because someone had to come and help. So, yeah, I think Davion, from a defensive standpoint, and then the fact that he came in and immediately started knocking down shots when the team just, it looked brutal for a while offensively, and it, it turned the table. Yeah. Katie, amongst the many things, you know, speaking of Herter and Monk, obviously you're, you're missing the the stretching of the defense, the shooting that Kevin Herter can provide. Malik, I mean, I think it was playmaking first, but all those highlights. But to me, it, there's there's such an energy, a positive energy to Malik Monk. That That's a tough one to replace. How does this group kind of, I guess when you win, it's there, but how do they kind of do that when there's some days where Malik can just get them out of uh, kind of a little struggle time? Yeah, I mean, it's a really good question, Jason, because his energy, I think, is probably the most important thing that he offers. He's a great scorer. He's a great passer, like you said, but he has a certain energy and demeanor on the floor, which I think is contagious for this team. And, you know, he comes in and you can you can feel it. It's, it's palpable. And so, uh, you know, I think having him on the bench is great. You know, he I, I think it still kind of has that impact, kind of like Mason Jones is one of those guys that he may not step on the floor, but I feel like he's always contributing on the sideline, which is important. And I mentioned it on air the other day, like Mason kind of reminds me a little bit of kind of Frank. Uh, Frank Mason and the Liddy committee and, uh, you know, Harry Giles back in the day where they used to do the dance before the game started on the bench and, and all that, like 
creating that type of energy from the bench, it really does, it does flow onto the floor. And so even though Malik isn't playing right now, like he's out there, <laughs> you know, chest bumping, you know, uh, Keegan after his dunks and, you know, doing his dunk ratings. And he was, okay. you know, given <laughs> Russell Westbrook the thumb down after he missed <laughs> miss the dunk and you know it's still there but yeah i think that it's it's one of those things that's like wow it's you're gonna have to be able to create that every game and who is it going to be i don't think it's going to be the same guy every time katie christensen joining us katie can i ask you a couple quick coaching questions is that okay no i i don't do coaching questions yeah well i think you'll do these ones uh (laughs) let's start with uh let's start with the g league Lindsay harding you know her uh Mm -hmm. coach of the year I said this earlier uh, when Jason and I were talking about it. I don't want to rain on the parade, but I've been told by many people that girls can't coach boys. I've been told that. I read it on. I read it online. I read that they mm-hmm. wouldn't respond. But last I checked, G League players are grown men. Uh, G League players are either pr- well, the pros, but former, future NBA players. Uh, and, uh, there's a gender difference between the coach and the players yet. She's the G league coach of the year. So tell me how that works out. If I read on Twitter from John Smith, 69, 69, <laughs> that women can't coach the men's game. Yeah, it's, um, I think we're past that. I mean, the people that still believe that probably, you know, have had their heads buried in a book somewhere or under a rock who knows what's going on with that but the great thing about Lindsay is I cannot I cannot tell you how impressive it is what she's done with that team this year because she in her first year head coaching has dealt with something you know from a from an off the court standpoint that coaches at every level might never ever deal with in their entire career and it happened right out of the gate you know And, you know, that is a tough, tough thing to deal with. And they struggled kind of at the start. Um, If memory serves correctly, they didn't do all that well at the D League showcase, but she has got those guys playing at such a high, high level. And her personal playing resume is wildly impressive. Like she was such a fantastic player, both in college, but as a professional. And I think we're past the point. Um, it's certainly within the, the, you know, sidelines of a NBA basketball court. These guys respect WNBA players and they respect the game that they play. <clears throat> and so when it comes from that standpoint, like when your coach can literally show you exactly what she wants you to do defensively and step out there on the floor and she can D you up and she knows the lingo, she has the respect. Like, I think that that, it carries you such a long way. It's not like someone walked off the, you know, you look back in the day, there's plenty of coaches that have coached in this, this game, whether, you know, college or, you know, um, professionally that are men that have never played the game at a high level, but yet they have the respect of players and they listen to them. So, yeah, I think that, you know, the people that are kind of in the deep, bowels of the internet can just continue with their conspiracy theories and then everyone else can just you know congratulate her for a really an amazing job yeah and it kind of to follow up on that katie from your days when you played the wnba was you know still a, a newer league now where it is compared to uh what like people like Lindsay are doing you working in the nba uh caitlin clark and the dave and i were just talking about the ratings just setting massive rating numbers as a former high school, college, and professional basketball player to see where the women's game is now. I just wonder what you, how you feel about that um, compared to where where it was when you were playing. Okay. I'm going to kind of leave the part out where you called me old. (laughs) (laughs) I never said that. (laughs) Experienced. (laughs) Well, that's when the ball was square. Mature. on a, it's a great it's, it's a great point because the game has advanced so 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 much since I played. You know, my last year in the WNBA was 2006, and that's nearly 20 years ago. And the players that have come through, and the fact that this league is so competitive and and has so many eyes on it, and the players have just continued to grow and advance, and the game is growing and advancing. And you know, they there's there's cities and there's, you know, people that want 
WNBA teams. Like there's an expansion coming and there's people fighting for the opportunity to have a team in their city. And I think that is so awesome because when I came into the league, there was 16 teams in the league. Um, and I think it went down to like 13 by the time that I was, you know, uh, kind of retiring from the WBA. And so to see that the game, which, you know, it was kind of like at that point, like still the NBA is very much, you know, footing the bill and they're keeping this league alive and so on and so forth. And is it ever going to be able to sustain itself, make money, all of these things? I think that, you know, we're kind of past that point and it's growing. And then you have a great crop of college players that are coming in like generational players that, you know, and I feel like every, every, you know, couple of years, there's a player like Brianna Stewart, like there's players that you're like, wow, like look what she's doing in college. And then Caitlin Clark comes along and it's just, there's, there's so many talented young women that are kind of, you know, picking up that torch and carrying it and like climbing the mountain much higher than we did. Katie Christensen joining us. All right. So to follow that up, then I'm going to ask you to do that, which you love so much, which is make a decision, but this is just a hypothetical. Katie's not big on making decisions. Here's the deal. Oh, Caitlin Clark. She'd go pro. She stayed Iowa. All right. We were looking Didn't we talk about the big three thing last week. No, we're going to do it. Again? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, no, oh. No, we're not, Katie. <laughs> oh, okay. Just check it. I know your memory is not so great. Your memory isn't. So 12.3 million viewers less for uh, the Iowa LSU game. That's We talked about this earlier. That's more than any women's game ever, as Jason said. NBA Finals, World Series, all that stuff, right? The WNBA. Uh, and, and by the way, this isn't me crapping on the WNBA. This is just numbers. 728,000 viewers uh, on average per game for the WNBA finals, which was the obviously the highest rated WNBA games last year. We're in this weird thing that I've never seen before where the college game, which let's be honest, if you put, I don't care who, you could probably put South Carolina and Iowa and UConn and pick an all-star team from those three, and the Aces would probably paste them by 30. That's just how it works in any sport. They're pros. They're grown. I think we can all agree on that. But yeah. for some reason, the college game is lapping right now the WNBA game when it comes to ratings and, and, and revenue. So my question is this. Obviously, Caitlin is going to come in and provide a spark to the WNBA, but they've already got – star she's going to be a smaller fish in a big pond i think she'll still be a big fish if you're caitlin clark especially with the nil deals and where she's at and people are so invested in iowa and her and the college game do you stay for your senior year rather than go to a a team in indiana that has the number one pick for a reason and it's not because they're super good like what would you do i would uh, would probably say with the I, i don't know what kind of money she's making you know, NIL money. I know that probably more than what she would potentially make as a pro. But then again, it's it's so hard to determine because she obviously has all the facts. We're we're looking at yeah. it from you know a distance, and I don't know what she made NIL money. I don't, you know, she's she's definitely going to make money off of endorsements, yeah. and it's going to be more yeah. in the WNBA than it is in you know that you know it, it doesn't it's it's going to continue. It's, she's going to have the ability to make more money in the WNBA off of endorsements than the NIL, um, and so it's hard to say for for that reason. Like I don't know what the figures are, but I would just literally do the math. Like, hey, Nike's going to sign me for X amount of money. I've been making X amount of money. Do I stay another year? or do I go, it would purely to me be based off of financials. Mm-hmm. Um, because when it comes to salary in the WNBA, yeah. But then you also have to look at it from the perspective of she's probably going to go overseas and immediately play after her first year in the WNBA. So it's going to go, it's going to go NCAA, WNBA immediately into overseas and there's going to be overlap. There's not going to be time off in between. She's also going to make a ton of money overseas. I mean, we're talking about the top players in, in the W that will go over and make, you know, five times what they're making in the in the WNBA overseas. So for that reason, you know, if she comes out, it's not a basketball thing. It's a, I think it's a business decision, right? Yeah. And she literally, you're right. I forgot about that, Katie, because the draft is, I think it's just in a few weeks. Right. The championship could be this weekend. And then the season's in May. Like, she has no downtime at all, at least in the men's side championship ends or whenever the season ends for a college side draft is in June 
you know, you got the summer and then the NBA regular season is in October. She's going to go, she'll have zero break. No, I mean, there's, there's zero. You immediately go into it. She'll immediately go to the combine. I don't know if she's, she, I, I don't know the facts, but I think it would be insanity if she participated in the combine. Yeah. Like I was a player that needed the combine to even have eyes on me and hopefully get drafted. Like, and it, by the way, like it took my college coaches doing a ton, a ton of, you know, talking and, and networking with people to even get me an invite to the combine. Like if I hadn't gone, I would never have, have you know, been drafted. How'd you do? So they, how'd you, I'm just curious. Like how, how did you well. do that type of thing? I did. I did well. Yes, I what, did well. What was your 40 time? <laughs> yeah, Dave. It's faster than mine. I'm just asking if you remember. We don't run 40s in. Oh, really? <laughs> no. What was it? What did you what did you press? They have a bench press. No, we don't do weightlifting competition. This is not it's oh, not the same. Okay. You literally go you play games at skills competitions. It's it's just an opportunity for all the coaches to be in one place and they get to work with you. Like they get to work with you. They get to see how you respond to coaching. They get to see attitude, mentality, like all these things that, you know, you, you don't, especially for players like me that they didn't know me from Adam. Right. So, you know, it's just, it, it's, it's not, not the same as the NBA. And I don't know, it's, it's not, it's been years since I was there. But I have a feeling that they're probably not having a bench pressing, you know, oh. you know, place at the 40s. at the combine for the women. Shuttle drills. Because we all know how how valuable that is. I mean, I remember Kevin Durant going to the combine and everyone would be like, he can only bench press, you know, X amount of weight. Like he's so weak, he, it's not going to work. Well, we obviously see that that was not the case. Wait a minute, right? what about the jumpy thing where you have to jump up and slap the vertical? vertical? The vertical? Do they do that? <laughs> Yeah, we do do vertical. So you, so you you did participate in that in the jumpy thing. Did they? Uh, in the yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, again, this was so long ago. Well, I got gotcha, you. I, I got gotcha. you. I think I did do the jumpy Are we thing. Talking, medical. You yeah. Go through medical. You go through interviews. You go through all that. So did you? Did they do a thing where like they put the white pages in front of you? You got over that, but then the yellow pages. Yeah. You, 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 like, how, how'd they do that? Were you able to? Did you have yellow pages hops? What are we talking here? Dave, I I know that I'm old now. I, I didn't I say that. Jason that, said that. <laughs> I know. I'm just carrying on the, you know, the the line we're going down here. Yeah. Um, I, I actually was fairly athletic and could jump. I was an undersized spinner and power forward. Like I, I, it. I had, I had, I could jump. I, I wasn't, it. you know, I wasn't nothing. So I didn't say who said that? To, who said that? Into the WNBA. You're a pro player who said that. I just wanted to see what kind of hops you had. You're putting words in my mouth. I'm going to get letters. Good. <laughs> uh, last thing before we go. I said I had coaching questions. Uh, we'll finish with this. Uh, we talked about Lindsey Harding. Congratulations to her. Uh, news came out that Steve Clifford, uh, just a couple of years after he took the uh, Charlotte job, is going to step down at the end of the year. He's going to angle for a front office role. Sounds like it's going to be a lot like the Alvin Gentry move with the Kings. Uh, and the first, there was a list of like four candidates. The first candidate mentioned was Jordy Fernandez. And I think, you know, Jason and I are in lockstep here, I think, with most Kings fans. Like, Please don't go. Also, we completely understand that at some point you have to go, but just Jordy's meaning to this team, if you will. Yeah, it kind of kind of reminds me a little bit of like, you know, the girl that maybe doesn't get asked to prom, but then she goes to prom and she's gorgeous and everyone's falling all over themselves. They're like, what did we do? Right. Like Jordy Fernandez to me is like one of those coaches that, people close to him know how fantastic he is. And obviously last year, it, the secret's out. Like he has a ton of respect in Canada, national team coach and he interviews for multiple jobs. Like I don't want to see Jordy go from a selfish right. standpoint, yep. but like he is going to get a head coaching job. And it's, it's one of those things where, you know, you're happy for him. You're happy for his young family and his story and how he got into the NBA is just so fascinating. And it's so tied to Mike Brown. I mean, Mike Brown found him to work out his son, you know, when he was in Cleveland. And uh, I don't know if a lot of the listeners know the story, but he brought him in one day because, you know, he was working out his son at the facility and there was a player that came in that wanted to get a workout in and they didn't have any coaches there at the time. So he said, Hey, Jordy, can you work this guy out? 
and he's down on the floor working out an NBA player. And I believe it was the owner that came in and was like, who's that guy? Right. Uh And that's how he got into the league. It's just the most random story, but you never know how you're going to get your first opportunity. And you fast forward to now. And, you know, he's got tons of experience in the NBA aside from, you know, being on Mike Brown's staff. Now he's got the national team experience and he's highly, highly respected. And I think that I would be shocked that if he didn't get an opportunity this year, we can cross our fingers from a selfish standpoint that he, he, he will still be on the staff. But, you know, you got to you got to wish him the best because he is so, so deserving. That is Kings TV analyst Katie Christensen on her way for the last road trip of the year. They yes. fly out in uh, just under a couple of hours. And Katie, uh, I believe it's a uh, it's one of those front row, second row season ticket holder events at Madison Square Garden. I, I believe the Kings are flying a bunch of folks out, including our general manager. So if uh, I know in the past you've had duties there, I don't know if you do or not where it's a. I I don't know. You know. I know that we're not calling the game. That's as far as I've gotten. Gotcha. Well, so you just so you just get to hang out at MSG. I guess so. I mean, I haven't really gotten the details yet. When we were in Phoenix, I chose to Stay to home. go to Marley's and just watch the game from there. But well, now I you're in your old stopping grounds. Go to Brooklyn. Yeah. No, hang I out. think I'll, I'll possibly hang out and, and go to the game. And gotcha. <laughs> Who, who wouldn't want to go to a game at Madison Square Garden? All right. No Joe Rogan comments. That's an inside joke. We'll take a break. Katie, appreciate you. Love you. Talk to you soon. Have a safe flight. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We'll take a break. When we come back, Kings put together a great effort yesterday. Great effort yesterday to beat the Clippers. Davion Mitchell was a big part of that. He spoke with the G-Man afterwards. We'll talk about that next in your home of the Kings, Sackdown Sports. Monty put together a roster that can help make a deep playoff run this season. Just trying to to give coach options, give him guys that um, you know can help us win in a variety of areas. Obviously, our top guys are going to play every game, but there's going to be other times whether it's injuries, matchups. Uh, we've got to have uh, you know some variety on the bench for for uh, coach to to point to and say go go in there and help us win tune into every king's game this season on sacktown sports and sacktownsports.com now during staples print big sale get twenty dollars off your print purchase of 100 or more fifty dollars off your print purchase of 200 or more and a hundred dollars off your print purchase of 300 or more so the more you print at staples the more you save to demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Big Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends 4-6. Visit staples.com slash print for details. If you love to travel, Capital One has a rewards credit card that's perfect for you. With Venture X, earn unlimited double miles on everything you buy and turn everyday purchases into extraordinary trips. Plus, receive premium travel benefits like access to over 1,300 airport lounges where you just check in and chill out. Open up a world of possibilities with Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. Lounge access is subject to change. See CapitalOne.com for details. This segment is brought to you by Kia of Vacaville. Check them out at KiaVacaville.com. The NFL's leading rusher plays here. The handoff to McCaffrey walks in the end zone. Handoff to McCaffrey takes it right down to the goal line. He does his thing again. McCaffrey goes in motion right. Backwards pass led by Juszczyk. A block there. Hurdles the man. 10, 5, touchdown! C M C. You can hear all of Christian McCaffrey's touchdowns on your home for 49ers football. Sacktown Sports. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Arnold Law Firm. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCRA 3 Weather Center. It is Wednesday. We're out the door to a comfortable start. As we get through the day today, we'll see partly cloudy skies. We'll have a bit of a southwest breeze this afternoon to early evening with high today in the upper 60s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how a collision can turn anyone's life upside down in a heartbeat. So remember to be a little more alert on the road and stay safe. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. I'm Ken Korak with our first Green and Gold Report for 2024. Brought to you by... Xfinity 10G, the network made for streaming. Well, for the A's to turn around their fortunes this year, they'll have to play better defense than they've shown early in the season. Now, bright spots on the mound. Paul Blackburn went seven in the last game of the Cleveland series, three hits and no runs. 
And then Kyle Muller in the first game against the Red Sox comes out of the bullpen. Five and a third, one hit, and six strikeouts. Want more speed? Well, Xfinity just increased their internet speeds, and they're faster than ever. It's time to get more out of your internet with faster speeds from Xfinity. Now through June 21st, get 150 megabit Xfinity internet for only $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. That's double the speed for the same great price. Click, call, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with store bank account. Restrictions apply. Equipment, taxes, and other charges extra. After promo, regular rates apply. Actual speeds vary. Right now, Meta Chevy saves you 8000 off MSRP on new 2024 Hampton Silverado LT Crew Cab four-wheel drives after rebate. Some Meta Chevy exclusive. See dealer for details and 43024. See all the savings at MetaChevy.com. Together, let's drive. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. Dr. Ken Halachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art Support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art Support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are gonna function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health Sacramento will check your testosterone for free. They're in Midtown in the Cal Sutter Medical Building and also offer telemedicine appointments. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 916-365-4566. That's 916 916- 365-4566 or visit revivementshealth.com. Want the best movie experience in town? Join Sacktown Sports IMAX Pass by visiting sacktownsports.com. Sign up today. You can win tickets to see this week's films at the Esquire IMAX Theater. Waking you up with the best in local sports. They just make it interesting, you know? It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. On Sacktown Sports. Breaking news from the, the Niffle. Yes. The National Football League. Uh, this has been... Brewing for a while. Yeah, something's been going on with him. <laughs> something's been going on with him. You know, if you uh, if you see all the Instagrams and the the snappy chats, the ticky talkies, ticky talkies, the book face. Well, the Houston Texans are trading draft pick compensation. That's what we know so far for. Star wide receiver Stephon Diggs of the Bills. As a matter of fact, the Texans will host the Bills next season. Mm-hmm. So now you got a Stephon Diggs revenge game. And then the Texans will also play the Cowboys in Dallas, which means it could be Diggs on Diggs Prime with his brother Trayvon Diggs. Very, very, uh, very interesting. So I, I, why didn't the Niners get him? <laughs> because <laughs> i think they're focused on uh i think they're focused on uh 
getting Brandon Ayuk signed. Yeah, that'd hey, be a good idea. Also, by the way, behind the scenes stuff here, but you know what? I uh, we are advocates for the the listener and the viewer as well. It, Chris, uh, join us for a second here. I don't know if you know anything, and I'm putting you on the spot here about it, but I, I'm I'm getting more and more people saying that like right in the middle of the show they're getting ads on YouTube. Uh, yeah, that's not anything that we control. That's a YouTube thing. Really? We can't control whether or not they run ads in the, like, so, I, I, it's or, not a me thing. It's a you. Yeah. Thing. I guess like in the middle of the Katie interview is like, well, I think the, and then all of a sudden it's like, try this thing. Yeah, like it happens on every show, but apparently today it's more <sighs> than normal. And we don't have the ability to like shut it off. That sounds like a Joe Jarosz. Yeah, it does. Sound. I'll ask Joe today. Sorry guys. I, I, <laughs> and Gal. Hey, how about we tell our bosses that we would like less money? Uh, well, I mean, pff, we're uh, we're not getting paid off of that. I know. I'm not seeing any. I, have you seen any money off of YouTube? Uh, you, oh, Jason's doing the shifty eye. I don't share my eggs. <laughs> and I don't share money. <laughs> that's why. That's that's why Chris was mad. You only brought three eggs yesterday because you got the cash to bring in more off your YouTube winnings. Jason. Thank you, everybody, for watching. <laughs> well, oh, oh, I I'm on the case, guys. We'll uh, we'll find out if the eighty five cents more a day commercials we we make. I don't mind if they run commercials. Just run commercials during the commercials. Makes sense to me. You know, don't yeah. run the commercials in the it's middle. Quality of, programming. I think when we were talking A's earlier. That's the first time I saw it. We're in the middle of like, and the A's aren't going to do this because and oh hey, it's uh, Sky Rizzy. Or yeah, whatever the hell. That's a great song. Sky Rizzy. Um, <laughs> Jr. Oh yes. It's not a me thing. It's a you thing. J Ross with a slip. Wow, nice job, buddy. You're well, a comedian. He's not even wearing a dress. <laughs> he's very... <laughs> as far as you know. Oh, good point. Uh, hey oh. Hey oh. Hey oh. <sighs> we all know Katie can't jump over a freaking credit card. Who's she lying to? Jeez. <laughs> Throwing shots at Katie. The My, jumpy thing. Yeah. The jumpy thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's going to New York just to party. Yes. Hey, God darn it. Darn it, uh, DMC. You were dead on with the Giants wanting or not letting the A's do their thing. And then, you know, I hate to say is I think the other sports do the, the same thing. Niners kick the Raiders out of town. Yeah. The earthquakes. Earthquakes do a lot to make sure the Republic stay uh, yeah. USL champion and not move up the MLS. But anyway, that whole segment yeah. was very good. You did a very good. It's like you're a professional or something. No, not really. And uh, I'm probably in trouble for it. But hey, you know what? You, you want to you you get me excited. Uh, put a big giant yeah. ownership group together and bring the A's and Here's where you get me on board with the A's. Uh, okay. Just just tell John Fisher, we'll buy the A's and the earthquakes from you. You don't care okay. about the earthquakes. And then, boom, all problems solved. Baseball, basketball, and MLS. Boom. boom. I, got a ca- I got a cash call right now. I'll get on that call right now. We'll start talking. Thank you, JR. He's got a few bucks. He's got a few. He's got a, he's $11. Got a couple. dollars. He's got a couple. You know what? It's 11 more dollars than we had before. True. Uh, in my YouTube revenue. In your YouTube revenue. Exactly. We will have an egg sandwich sale here at the station to raise money. Man, I had a second one today. Did Sorry, you? Chris. Did you have a second one this morning? I had one. I'm not a second one, but from yesterday. From yesterday. You yeah. used the egg. I egg made egg. it myself. I was proud of myself. I watched you make the three. Yes. And I did it. I and did. I'm a big boy. I'm now. so excited. And turned out fine. No Great. issues. Yeah, I put the ham in it. The Whee! Easter ham. Did you put the ham in and then microwave it? Or yeah. The, it was yeah. In, in the patty. Cheese afterwards? Yes. Okay, so, so melted in both cheeses. I did pepper jack and smoked cheddar. Next step then. And we'll make- tomato did- and that garlic aioli a little wow. less than yesterday. And uh, avocado. Oh, my God. So that thing was like a foot tall. Yes. Look I walked you. on it. I couldn't jump over it. Are you, are you, you and Katie, are you ever going to uh, put the ham and the cheese in prior to my tomorrow mm, tomorrow you're gonna yeah. give it a shot i'm so i'm so happy i'm but so why why uh why the cheese in there i guess it's fine. well if it melts if you look it's gonna melt anyway if it's gonna melt anyways then don't do it because it might be too melty and stick and then it's harder to clean but if it doesn't melt if it's just like halfway melted yeah, then, yeah you can do that i mean you you didn't uh oversell the like it doesn't even remotely stick no nope. i mean i just did that yeah that's it it's a pss. now it, if it, you don't do the pss, you're gonna have to dig it a little bit think so well probably it, maybe not yeah i've never not done it I've, i don't that's the forbidden land i've never gone there <laughs> i live on the edge i might try that tomorrow i've never gone there before uh is this a call before we go to break is this somebody with the thing okay who is this this is garrett yep how's it going Good. guys Hi. Hey, garrett hey i i just i i'm a big a's fan mm-hmm. and i just think this whole thing is a joke mm-hmm. but speaking of jokes i have something that i think you guys are gonna laugh out of do, do yourselves a favor look up the pitching coach for the oakland a's scott emerson yeah 
Paul Michael Dave, he is your clone. Oh, I've seen Dude, that. I've heard That's this. a good call. You know, I'm going to look at this right now. <laughs> Chris is laughing in there. I'm looking at this right now. Hold on. It is not, that is not what I look like. <laughs> that is not what I, call, I do Garrett. not look like him. And I, oh, okay, God, I really don't look like him. Ugh. Do I look like that? He's even a little ginger in his beard. <laughs> Aye. Where's your other doppelganger? The one you were told Monty not to draft. The guy from Gonzaga. Oh, uh, oh Drew Timmy. Timmy. Yeah, where the hell is he, by the, the way? G League star, maybe? Yeah, good thing. Yeah, we haven't had a Drew Timmy. See, look at that. That's not me. That's mm. actually more me than the other guy. I'm not going to lie. What is Drew Timmy up to? I think That's Garrett might have been right. Look, AB916 is spot on. AB916 is a hater. Oh. Uh, Timmy was not drafted. Timmy. And uh, he joined the Bucks for the Summer League, signed with them on the second, was waived on the 18th. And now he is uh, he's playing for the Wisconsin Herd. Oh, he had a left foot fracture in February and uh, suffered a season ending. There. So if we had a interview with you and Drew Timmy and A's pitching coach Scott Emerson, and we just all three of you are standing, and, and I think you're all tall. Obviously, Timmy's the tallest. Yeah. But I wonder if people could identify who's the real Carmichael Day. Who's the real? What, what, I mean, without audio, someone else, yeah. have you heard of someone else that you've been? Uh, There's this one goofy looking actor that Tom Maley always says I look like, but I remember Tom, who it is. Tom can't. And it's Tom's like, it's probably like, Denzel, you're like no, Tom. It's not no. Uh, he thinks he thinks I look like that guy. I don't know who that oh, is. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a he's a comedian. He's in a lot he's of. He's from Veep. He's from Veep. You don't. I don't know what it, no, That's thank cool. you. No. Tom can't hear or see. All right, Helen but Bailey. He smells great. He smells wonderful. We'll take a break. <laughs> when we come back, as we wind down the hour, who's hot? Who's not? We'll go streaking. We'll recap. Yesterday is uh, three of the key for the Kings and Clippers, and we're still going to get to Davion Mitchell post game at some point too. All right, after this, the only place you'll find Harrison Barnes is Sacktown Sports. He's got the bucket at the buzzer. Harrison Barnes. Hey, Sacramento, it's Harrison Barnes, and you're listening to the home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. A toast to our new college grad who fills us with so much joy, almost as much as when we're in our RV. Oh, the world is your oyster, kiddo, and ours too. Now that we're covered with Progressive, Dad and I can hop in our RV anytime we want. Might even splurge on a retractable lawning. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> Sorry, what was I talking about? Protect your loved one with an RV policy from Progressive. Take as little as four minutes to see what you could save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she just launched her new side gig, a true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. NBAstore.com, the official online store of the NBA and the world's largest selection of officially licensed NBA fan gear with unique designs by Fanatics, Nike, and all the latest styles for every NBA team. Plus, one-of-a-kind products and authentic collectibles. Shop now and get today's special offer. NBAstore.com, a Fanatics experience. When you're high, you feel different. You think different, you talk different, you draw different, you listen to music different, but you probably knew that. Problem is, you also drive different, and not in a good way. That's why driving high is illegal everywhere. So if you're high, just don't drive. Make a plan to get a sober ride. Because if you feel different, you drive different. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. The Angie's List you know and trust is now Angie. And we're so much more than just a list. We still connect you with top local pros and show you ratings and reviews. But now we also let you compare upfront prices on hundreds of projects and book a service instantly. We can even handle the rest of your project from start to finish. So remember, Angie's List is now Angie. And we're here to get your job done right. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. 
Welcome to a brighter future with Aztec Solar, serving Sacramento since 1980. Everyone knows that solar saves money. How much? The answer is a few clicks away. Visit yourpowersavings.com. It's fast, easy, and reliable, giving you instant insight into your potential savings. I used to pay $400 a month to the power company, and that $400 a month added up to $48,000 over the past 10 years. That all changed when I switched to solar with Aztec Solar. Now it's your turn to stop overpaying for electricity. Calculate your solar savings right now at yourpowersavings.com. And Aztec Solar will email or text you how much you'll save every month. Plus, we've got an exclusive offer for you. Get your solar electrical system for just $9,995 cash price after incentives. Don't wait. This deal won't last forever. Visit yourpowersavings.com today and take the first step towards energy independence with Aztec Solar. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how an injury can turn anyone's life upside down. Whether it's a slip and fall, a car accident, or any other kind of injury, for almost 50 years, the Arnold Law Firm has been here to help you through the entire process to protect you and your family. If you are ever injured or in an accident, call the Arnold Law Firm. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. That's 916-777-7777. What's hot and what's not? Brought to you by American Energy Heat and Air. Making the uncomfortable comfortable. Head to AmericanEnergyAir.com to find out more. What's hot? Yeah, hot. Real hot. And what's not? It's not good. Brought to you by American Energy Heating and Air. Sacramento's complete heating and cooling company. And second opinion partner. Hey, Chris. What's that? Who's hot? Evan Carter of the Texas Rangers. Do tell. In the first five games of the season, he has scored five runs for the Rangers. Also has an RBI for his name. Also has an RBI what? Also has an RBI for his name. I don't know why I said that. Okay. Maybe I should be picking him in streaking. Maybe. Who's not? Evan Carter of the Texas Rangers. <laughs> why? He is yet to get a hit this season. He is 0 of 15 in five games, but yes, he does have five runs for the scored Rangers. Scored in every game. Okay. I was going to say that that was an odd hot with just five runs scored in every game or a run in every game, but no hits. Man, 0 for 15. Woof. Means he's due, right? Imagine how many runs he could score if he did get a hit. Exactly. It's the point of the game. Hit the ball. Hit the ball the right way. Hit the ball the right way. Yeah. That win? Uh, uh, no, we didn't. No, you hot. were not. not. Oh. Yeah. I was not hot. Yeah. I am because of the stupid weather. Can we oh. pull it down, please? Oh, come on. You loved yesterday. Yeah, I mean, honestly. It was like 77. That's too much. I'm not saying it's too it's much. It's the first it's, time, so yes. it's warm. Yes. That's, exa yeah. that's exactly right. It's kind of like the first time. It's like, ooh. Yeah. Knowing that it's going to be 30 degrees warmer than this in the in coming months. Chris doesn't like it either. 77, you will take gladly in two months. Well, of course. When it's 118. Yes. No, yeah. for sure. 100. I would take 80. Okay. In two months. But, you know, let's just the whole can we do global cooling and have it be like, wow, it hasn't been 100 in a whole year. Like, why can't we do what? What do I have to do environmentally for global cooling? Uh, no, I have a solution. Huh. They moved to San Diego. I would be more of I've told I'd be more of a Washington, Oregon coast guy. That's my weather. Little wind. Yeah, San Diego might surprise overcast. you. Overcast. Especially by the ocean. But it gets it gets not that hot. No, it doesn't, but there's like rarely an 85. I think that would be the perfect mix for both of you, for you and Jason. Like if, if Jason and I live, were roommates yeah. and we had to live some, we had to Would decide. Harrison come with us? Yes. Okay, good. Although, I, I mean, I don't know. We'd have to ask Harrison. Is Harrison like a tropical guy? Is he a hot guy? I mean, he's a hot guy. Yeah. Is he a cool, like, uh, you know, is he a coast guy? Is Harrison a golfer? Mm. Bandon Dunes is up yes. there. Oregon coast. Uh-huh. Love you've been to be, you've been there. Heard that by the way, there was a whole controversy online about how the greens were all jacked up. At a whole days. controversy. <laughs> you, okay. Golf. Yeah. Mm. Like big controversy. Like they're like, I want my money back. This was supposed to be the Mecca of golf on the West Coast. Is Bandon Dunes fraudulent? No. No, you've been there. Is it Bandon's weird when you hear like Oregon and Washington be like described as the West Coast? 
It is like you're right. Technically, it is right, but even I think they would say they're like we're not the West Coast, this California. We're the Pacific Northwest. We're the yeah. PNW. Okay, yeah, it's a whole different thing. All right, let's go streaking right now, please. Let's streak. Let's go streaking. It's time to go streaking. We're going streaking. Yeah. Who is the Nostradamus of MLB? Good luck getting it to three, though. Oh, yeah? Well, Make you sure know, you pick someone that's playing. I'm going to pick somebody that's going to take me in the right direction. And who can take you in a better direction more than Spencer Steer? Hmm. Are they playing? Just make sure. Uh, the Cincinnati's. Uh, let me see. I'm writing here. him in. The, the Red Stockings. Uh, let's see. Reds. Reds. Nope. 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 Yep. Against the Phillies. Okay. There you go. Oh, against Zach Wheeler. Oof. <laughs> I'm going to take uh, from the San Diego, the place where we're, yeah. you, me, and Harrison are going yeah, to move to. the Whales, I uh, think. Yeah. The Padres, Jake Cronenworth. Jake Cronenworth. Yeah. Totally awesome name for yes. a superstar. Good show, too. Definitely. Chris? Jason could like, just start making up names. And, and so you guys like, would. Oh, I've got like 15 in a row. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I should. I should you, see you if you guys know what's a player. I would have no idea. Yeah. Jake Cronenworth. Yeah. Of the, of the Hampton Cronenworth. Yes. Yes. I'm yeah. going to take the Texas Rangers. Evan Carter. Yeah, Chris. Without a hit. That's bold. 
Good that doesn't you. have a hit yet. It doesn't, but until now. Do they play? Uh, who, who's who's Texas? Yeah, they're playing the Orioles. Oh, okay. Oh, Against Ryan nope, Mountcastle. The Royals are playing the Orioles. The Rangers are playing the Rays. Okay, Rangers Rays. You didn't mean to, but you 100% went Chester on that, uh, on what you just said. Chester Q. Ah, the Orioles are playing the Rays. <laughs> we'll take a break. Chester Q. Palmsdale. Ah, I got it. That's an old callback. When we get back, uh, the Kings defense, it's getting better. How better? We'll tell you right after this. Last season, the Sacramento Kings gave us a little bit of everything. A Pacific Division type GM of the year, coach of the year, clutch player of the year, all stars and all NBA performers. Plus, we got to light the beat. Here's a steal by Fox, a breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. What does this season have in store? Find out. Each and every Sacramento Kings game can be heard right here on your proud home of the beam team, Sacktown Sports at sacktownsports.com. Every day when we're on the road, people around us endanger themselves and others by looking at their phones while driving. There is the sneak a peeker who darts their eyes between the road and their texts, or the nightlighter who illuminates their car after dark. If that's you, reconsider before you find yourself becoming the fender benderer. The got a ticket or or worst of all, the driver who killed someone put the phone away or pay paid for by NHTSA. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere. It's all here. Start to Honda.com. Number one claim based on 2022 total new and Honda certified pre-owned vehicle car sales from American Honda Motor Company's own one report. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area for oil changes. Visit JiffyLube.com for more details and valuable coupons today. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger. Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts... Palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My old spice is missing! No! <laughs> At Ashton and Price, we get injury victims to yes. Experience, yes. Ashton and Price has been around for over 25 years. No more insurance companies, yes. Our clients focus on getting better and we handle all the rest. Results? Yes. We've collected over $100 million for injury victims. No fee until we win? Yes. Our clients pay nothing until we win. Ashton and Price, the best at getting to yes. Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. KHTKAM Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. Ah. Take it on the local level. Live and local, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. Sacktown Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom. with Jason Ross. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. We're going to do uh, three in the key here in a yep. second then get on to a last night's game. By the way, during the break, just a random it's a it's a game we should really bring back this summer. Are they still with us? 
And today's candidate, Chris brought up, Donald Sterling, the disgraced owner of the Clippers. I sadly would have said yes. I wouldn't, honestly, I, I said yes because I had, I feel like if he died, there'd be like a. I thought, he, I thought we'd heard that. And there would be like a whole story run and we'd revisit it and all that. Chris, be honest. Did you think alive or dead, Donald Sterling? Oh, I thought he was dead. Mm. So two deads. I actually got this one right. Donald Sterling, 89 years old. Mm. That's all I got. I mean, I'm just, what am I going to build off of that? Yeah. He's alive and he's 89. Yeah. I will just say this. Like, if he dies over the weekend, that's going to be weird. Like, and totally not our fault. We're just bringing, we're just saying he's, that's all we're saying here. You are the jinx person. I am. And I don't know how I'd, how I'd Every single that. thing that every fan does oh. at home or at the stadium makes a direct impact in the game. Here's the thing. I don't know what that's from. Is that from like... Uh... Always sunny. Okay. Here's my thing about that. You know who the person is too. I do who? Mm -hmm. Jason Kelsey. Why do they start playing the Rocky Bell? <laughs> yeah. Oh, because it's Philly? Uh-huh. Because yeah. that's the Rocky. You see, he's not a machine. He's a man. That's so, the Rocky Bell. In the show... Um, which I've never seen. I probably need it's to. It's started like season seven. <laughs> but like oh, start at oh, season, start seven. season seven. Well, well, like a... at season like 17 now. Jeez. Yeah, but... That's so a weird. rounding endorsement. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to watch a show where I have to. I understand sometimes it takes shows a while to get off the, the, the floor. But seven? Seven? Well, it's like a lot of it is going to be like, oh, yeah, I remember that 12 years ago yeah. when that was a thing. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like while trying to watch old Seinfeld. And it's like, let's race to find a payphone. Nobody has a cell, but the guy Charlie is trying to do all of his superstitions, and like he's getting more and more hurt, and it's just like, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it, and then he starts hallucinating Jason Kelsey, telling him <laughs> that's, that's so, that superstition. That is actually, random and kind of awesome to be honest. And Jason Kelsey now retired, mm -hmm. retired, retired. Reports are they're trying to get him at WrestleMania in Philadelphia on Saturday and Sunday. I reports are I'm sure that will happen. Uh, we also have, where is this report? I can't find it, but, uh, Hey, amongst others, former Sacramento King, Vince Carter has been elected to the Naismith hall of fame, Chauncey Billups, uh, the other, but congratulations, yeah. Vince, who, I mean, come on, dude. And I will say this and I will die on this hill and I will argue with anyone who wants to argue with me. No, I won't. Vince Carter, the greatest dunker of all time, in game dunker of all time. If you want to say that greatest dunk. Contest ever, greatest in-game dunker ever. Got the Frederick Vice dunk in the Olympics. Has I think the single of sorry Aaron Levine or uh, Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon has the single greatest dunk performance in history. Two thousand Oakland best dunker and a king. That's how yes. he's going in. Yeah. By the way, I heard the dunking. He is uh, yes, he is going in as a Sacramento king. Yeah. Is that a thing in the NBA? Do you go in with a team like in baseball? I don't think so. Right. You just go in. He's going, and that's sure. where he lives. Well, now. Not like a, you're not wearing a hat or anything. Yeah, that's there. a good point. So you're just. And why, by the way, in baseball, why can't they just have it be a hat? Why does it have to have a? Why does it have to be with a team? That's true. You know, make things easier. Uniform. Not everybody can be Tony Gwynn or Calgary Ripken Jr. or you know whatever. So, all right, three in the key right now. Kings Clippers last night. How do we do? I know I'm O for at least one. Jason Ross. We asked for the points that were going to be scored by Keegan Murray and Harrison Barnes. They combined for 49 in the previous game. Uh, Dave, you said Keegan would score 18 and Barnes 11. I said 21 for Keegan and 14 for Barnes. And Chris predicted 26 and 23. Uh, the correct answer was Keegan scored 19 and Harrison scored 6. So I think, Dave, you were the closest. Hey! Hey. Win for me, not for ye. Next, we asked the largest lead for each team. Davey said Kings by six. Clippers would lead by 19. I said Kings by 11. Clippers by 14. Chris said Kings by nine. Clippers by 15. The Clippers' largest lead was just six. The Kings' largest lead was 26. Wow. I don't know that any of us were that close. I feel like I was. Okay. And then a random stat. Random. Right up. 
Davey said, James, first you said James Harden would have less than six free throws. Then you did a little research. You said, that's probably not fair. It's not fair. He only had four free throws, though. Would have been. Would have been. I would have gotten it right. But in the true spirit, you know, I am an ethical player yes. by James Harden. And you switched to JaVale McGee would make a, would have a free throw. Not even make it. I think half the G League team played last night, but no JaVale. I think literally everyone in the Yeah, every played, but single JaVale. person but JaVale McGee played. However, he did make a free throw. I win. In my, in my world. Yes. Yes. I didn't say he'd make it in the game. He made uh, it in practice. Chris said Sahas. Castillo. Vizankov, <laughs> Sasha Vizankov would have two. Sahas. <laughs> Sahas. Uh, would have two or more three-pointers. He was molded to Justin Timberlake with the Bee Gees there. <laughs> Sahas. <laughs> uh, he was 0 for 1. <laughs> he was 0 for 1. And I said. Jeez. My random stat, DeMontis Sabonis. DeMontis Sabonis. It felt like they played that a bunch last night. They did, and they were into it. Love it. Uh, Would have 20 or more rebounds. And? Oh, thank you. Congratulations, Jason Ross. 20 rebounds. 2020 game. Couldn't get that 10th assist, though. Uh, Last night, as a matter of fact, there were, I believe, for the first time in forever, three players in the league that had 20 rebound nights. By the way, Jason Ross, uh, something that we should highlight that had nothing to do with the Kings, but I think as a fan of the sport should be highlighted, the Nuggets and the Spurs faced off in a yeah. battle of the Clash of the Titans, if mm-hmm. you will. Uh, yeah, Nicole, the best team versus the worst team? I'm talking about the centers, but oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Nikola Jokic in 38 minutes had 42 points, 16 boards, 6 assists, which was a triple-double, a steal, and 2 blocks. That's a really good night. Nuggets won 110-105. Mm-hmm. The rookie, Victor Wembenyama, 23 points, 15 rebounds, 8 assists, 9 block shots. This dude's going to have a, I would say, if I were to tell you right now, the over-under, I will say four and a half. How many steals? Uh, He had one steal. Okay. So 10 stocks. I'm going to put the over-under, Jason, $200,000 suitcase bet. The over-under at four and a half career quadruple doubles. Over. Right? Yeah. You know what he's doing, too? The other one that's more rare, I remember this happening, in the. I think the day I brought it up, because he almost had it here, he got it the next game, is the NBA 5x5 five five game, which is... Five, five in each category. Yeah, five yeah. points, which he'll get. Five rebounds, five assists, five blocks, five steals. It's only happened a handful of times in the history of the league, and he's now done it. I think he's done it a couple times this season. Jason, just to put it in perspective, the last time somebody had a quadruple double was David Robinson in 1994. That's 30 years ago. Actually, February 17, 94, just over 30 years ago. 34 points, 10 boards, 10 assists, 10 blocks. And before that, Hakeem Olajuwon, March 29th, 1990. Didn't Alvin Robertson do Alvin that? Robertson yeah. had one of those February 18th. As a spur, too? Come on, San Antonio. 1986. So you got two spurs, uh, a, a, a rocket. So this is a Texas thing. Everything's bigger in Texas. Why not? And uh, Nate Thurman. God, that is such a 70s photo. Oh, it is. Nate Thurman. Hey, looked, it's against the Kings. Look at the gold chains, losing the hair, but did not matter. 22, 14, 13, and 12. Yes. <clears throat> against, well, the picture's against the Kings, but he did it against the Atlanta Hawks. Oh. That, so there are one, two, three, four quadruple doubles. That, by the way, old heads, they didn't keep the stat with Wilt Chamberlain. Yeah. I'm sure he had some. Four. So you're putting it at more than the lifetime number yes. you think he might get. And I think that's the right – I think the over is the right take. As a rookie, he's been close at least twice. Yeah, and honestly, I blocks is generally the hardest. Uh-huh. It might be a, not a – he gets assists. I don't know. It's probably blocks. To get to 10 is is pretty significant. I'm not going to sit here and say he's having the best rookie year ever because he's not probably having the best. I mean, LeBron's got something to say about that. But this dude is just – this dude is just scary pants. He's going to be, again, it's always, you know, health, and he, he's big. So how about him leading the league in block shots by 1.4 blocks a That's game? That's a lot. He's averaging three and a half blocks per contest, Jason Ross. 
Impressive. Very impressive. Yeah. Much like the Kings' defense. They're not uh, averaging that many blocks, no. probably. Uh, but last night, they held an opponent to under 100. That is the... Again. That, that, that... They did that four times in the first 53. They've done it six times in the last 22, Jason. Might do it again tomorrow against the Knicks. That was a low-scoring game the last time. I think odds would say they will. Now, odds are the Kings will probably be under 100 as well. Um, But they are absolutely locked in. You asked Mike Brown after the game about the improved defense. Uh, you know, we, we, we always say uh, play physical, and I thought our guys did. I thought uh, our bigs were really, really good at the point uh, of the pick and roll, you know, in reverse hard, and they were up to touch, and they did a great job of mixing in some blitzes that were really aggressive with high hands, and we put them on their heels. And, you know, when you get blitzed time after time after time or the coverages are changing, it throws you off. Also, you know, the, we took away the pocket. James is really good at making that pocket pass. And then our weak side defense was was fantastic. You know, we, 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 our primary tag guy was great. So when that big caught, he couldn't just go and dunk it all the time. And, and then we rotated out the shooters. So I thought our guys were just on a string tonight, uh, starting with being really physical. Uh, on the defense end of the floor. They were on a string, uh, always in the right spot. When the ball moved, everybody moved, and everybody covered and or protected uh, uh, each other. And that was that was uh, uh, beautiful to watch. And same when, with, with the dribble drive. When the dribble drive happened or we broke down defensively, somebody stepped up, played big at the rim. We sunk and we filled on the backside, and then we just sprayed out and covered the three-point line as best as we could. They were, you know, shooting 54 55 percent from the three in the first half and i think they were six for 11 and and, and you know they, they ended the game that was at five for, for for 16 the rest of the way so we did i, I give our guys credit they, they did a heck of a job in both those areas mm. well there you go yeah there you go jason well well done well that's done mike brown yeah. the work's paying off pal well that and keon ellis too We'll take a break when we come back we've still got to hear a little bit from uh, davion mitchell we have trey lyles as well some more sound and also let's get into the standings jason so good night they're not the sittings no they're the standings now stand up and be proud all rise hey we'll do that next our first year as the radio home of the San Francisco 49ers is one we will never forget. They're gonna give it. No, it's a play action. Purdy gonna roll left, throw for the end zone. Caught by George Kittle. He has the hat trick tonight. A career high. Three touchdown catches for George. Touchdown! San Francisco! Congratulations to the 49ers on a terrific year. And thank you for so many wonderful memories. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close by well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action that's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly. 1-800-GAMBLER. If your passion is bass fishing, only one radio show has the action, information, and excitement of your favorite outdoor sport. Ultimate Bass, hosted by tournament bass pro and California Outdoor Hall of Famer Kent Brown, takes you live to where the fish are biting every Saturday morning. Only Ultimate Bass feeds your passion with the latest news, products, tips, and advice from the pros. Ultimate Bass with Kent Brown, Saturday mornings at 5 a.m. on Sacktown Sports 1140, part of Seth's Saturday Morning Outdoors. The only place in the morning to get your sports fix. Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. See me. I need you to see me. See me. Feel me. Touch me. Touch, me, me, touch me. Oh, you just went to a totally different song. 
I was doing the who. Uh, wait, touch me, touch me. I want to feel your body, mm, your heartbeat. That was Samantha Fox. Oh, was it? I okay. think so. Okay. Wasn't Samantha Gen- Fox? Yeah. Generally, my first instinct would be right on that, but I don't know. Uh, what song were you doing? I was doing um, oh, uh, uh, The Who from Tommy. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think it's just called oh. See Me, Feel Me. Oh. Yeah. Tommy? Yeah. yeah touch Me, uh, Samantha Fox. Yeah. But it was back. This is the best part. It's touch me and in parentheses, I want your body, mm-hmm. which those old, those of you that are a little old heads will remember that like in the late 80s, early 90s, there was an absolute pandemic of songs with parentheses, with parentheses. Yeah. like every other song had parentheses and then it all culminated. Let's see how you do here. There was a band that had an absolute smash hit, number one smash hit. I don't think they were a one-hit wonder, but there's only one hit you'd remember. And the band's title had parentheses. Was not was. God dang it, Jason. I love you to death. Was not was. What a pull. What a pull by you. Open the door. Get on on the the floor. floor. Everybody Everybody walk the dinosaur. That's just amazing. I think they had one other song. I think they did, too. It was like uh, they and uh, like Wang Chung had two songs. And like Mr. Mr. As much as we think Mr. Mr. had more, it was... Mr. Mr. was basically Curie and, uh, oh, the big one, the bigger one, uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, Broken Wings. Broken Wings, thank you. Did, they were, by the way, Mr. Mr. still touring. Really? They were They were playing, they're doing an international tour right now. They were in. Uh, oh, I missed them. They were in, uh, <laughs> they were in, they were in Puerto Vallarta, as a matter of wow. fact. But they go by Senor Senor. <laughs> 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 Woo! Oh, we're having Why a good time. Why was the was not was in parentheses? Was I there don't more know. After that? No, it was was, and then in parentheses, not was. What the hell was that? And by you the way, the lead did. singer, if yes, I remember correctly, I think his name was Don Was. Seriously? I swear to God, I think the lead singer was not was, was Don Was. Let me do this. First Let- name Don, last name was. Was. Hey, was. Don Was. Shake it, not stirred, please. Here's, uh, here's Trey Lyles, happy to be back. I was tired of shit today, but um, no, nah, it felt it felt great to be out there with the guys competing, um, playing together. We're playing hard, um, and it's always nice playing at home. But the last two and a half weeks was was tough for me, just having to sit back and watch, and and um, you know not being able to go out there and, and try to help the team out. But you know now being back is is obviously you know where I want to be. So I'm happy about it. Was not was was founded by David Weiss and Don. Uh oh. Oh. Is it problematic? Uh, no. Well, sound it out. Uh, you can do it. I'm just gonna spell it. I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna write it down so I can see it in front of me. I don't want to spell it out either. Oh. Jason, why don't you pronounce this last oh, okay. name? Okay, go ahead, right there. That's probably what. That's yeah. I'll leave that one. You gonna leave that alone? Yeah. Okay, Chris, you want to give it a shot? Come on up, Chris is coming in right now. I just I don't know what the rules are, and I don't know how to pronounce it, but. It's it's Dawn. Give that a whirl. <laughs> no, yeah, okay. I feel like it's an A sounding. Fajensen. F- yeah, yeah we'll, we'll go with that. Fajensen. Uh, Don Fajensen and David Weiss adopted the stage names David and Don Was. So it was technically Don Was, but that wasn't his real name. It was Don Fajensen. Fij- Not Was. Not Was. Uh, their single, uh, Walk the Dinosaur, yeah. was the number one hit. Uh, world uh, world Top 40 hit. What up off their album, What Up, Dog? <laughs> what up with that? What up with that? But then, what was uh, the other song? I, I, I don't know there that was they... one other one, I thought. I thought that there was two. Uh, featured the singles Walk the Dinosaur and Spy in the House of yes, Love. Yes, that's it. You know, yeah. for real? Uh-huh. Um, I was a spy. In the house of love. Yeah. Really? Uh, it's the most made up sounding song I've ever Play the song. Play the song. Oh, my, play okay. the song. I believe you. I just have never. Uh, I, I, I yes, like that's it. I as soon as you said the title. It. Spy in the house of love. Yeah. I mean, this was back. There was like was not was. There was fine young cannibals. Mr. Mr. I mean, this is a good stretch of music. Come on. Uh, we got to get to the hook. Uh. 
I mean, he, he nailed Woo! it. I just, golly, wouldn't have never heard that. Falco, Rock Me Amadeus. Yeah. You know, he had a second hit. Did the lead up to that, did it sound like it was going to get, get into what's love got to do with it? <laughs> I, I know where you're going and where I placed it, which is not it, but this, it sounded to me like the montage music when Andrew McCarthy and Kim Cattrall went shopping in Mannequin right after she became a human. Very 80s. Very 80s. Oh, good morning, dork. Steven. Or not you. Hi, Steven. I'm a dork? No, no, no. no. I'm a Far dork for it. the Mannequin thing. You know, you're great. What's up? I know I'm great. You are. Dave, come on now. Oh, thank you. Hey, who's got the show record for uh, for the most hits? The most hits? Yeah, you, you're hitting streak. Oh, uh, uh, let's go streaking. Was yeah. it eleven? Yeah, yeah, eleven. That's uh, I, is I, that eleven? Is not that sh- the, uh, the 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 dearly departed? Uh, Jamers, uh, you know. Yeah, rest yeah, in peace, Jay Mars. Still alive. Uh, rest in peace, Jay Mars. I can't remember who holds that record. I think it's you, Dave. Oh, I know it's me. I was just <laughs> wanted you to say it. <laughs> okay, don't let's not let's not let's not come on. Man. Where have you so gone, Dave DiMaggio? Right here, pal. <laughs> Thank you. Um, also. We need to bring back the sounder, the uh, the, uh, the standings watch guy. I miss that guy. Oh, standings watch. Oh, yeah. watch, watch, watch. Yeah, yeah, we need to bring that back. He's right. That is all. Thank you. He's yeah. right. Yeah, we can find that. Stand. Well, we can't find the streak is over. Find the it. streak is over. It was a beauty. What is that? Is that? Wait a minute. It's the that's search sur- is over. Yes, that's Survivor. Yeah. Yeah. I like this segment. <laughs> I do too. Uh, let's see. Wednesday fun and games. Wednesday fun and games is right. Let's get focused here, ADD. How about uh, Davion Mitchell? You know what? He he's. I've noticed this. They're not. They're not kissing. They're not kissing the physicality. But Davion says they're embracing it. Uh, I think we're just embracing the physicality. Um, I think we love it. Um, I mean, we helping <laughs> helping each other, one another, um, being there for each other, taking charges. Um, I mean, Keon had six fouls tonight, so he's being physical. I mean, it was a lot of, a lot of ticky-tack fouls. But I, mean, we're, I think we're being physical. I mean, we're just getting ready for the playoff. That's right. Did we get high during the break or something? What happened? Is there something in that egg sandwich? Was not was. What is going on here? Uh, back to Trey Lyles uh, talking about Keegan, again, being aggressive. Uh, it's great, you know. Uh, Keegan can score in a variety of ways, three level score. So, um, when he's when he's aggressive, when he's going out there and taking shots and making shots and and being aggressive on both ends of the floor because he can defend as well. He's 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 the player that we need, um, and that's what we need from him all the time. I agree. Yeah, I like an aggressive Keegan. Me too. I want Keegan to Keegan go mad. Exactly. Go to the front of the buffet line. And be like, I, this is my move chicken over, finger. Luca. Yeah, get out of here, Luca. Go I'll take corral. that Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you go. You go sit in the high chair. You stupid. Yeah, got him. That's the Keegan I want. Oh, uh, let's roll around here back to Davion. Uh, you know, Trey talked about Keegan. Mm-hmm. How about Davion talking about Trey? Yeah. Okay. Uh, amazing. Uh, not even just scoring, but just playing hard. Um, getting the fifty fifty balls, rebound. He's kind of doing everything for us. Uh, he's kind of just being himself. He's getting back to himself. He's getting the win back, which is good for us. It was good. It was a good win last night. It was a very good win last night. I was very proud of this team. Like, seriously, I didn't have high hopes coming in. I wasn't trying to be poopy pants. It's just the Clippers coming in. Again, didn't know Kawhi wasn't going to play uh, on the show yesterday. But even still, give him full credit for that. Because guess what? Malik Monk didn't play. And Kevin Herter didn't play. And, yes, I understand that they're not Kawhi Leonard. But that's still two big pieces missing uh, from that 2-3 zone, if you will, mostly two. And, and the Kings were able to overcome that and really turn it on the second half. And that's the type of momentum you want to start this very very Vegas would say that Vegas would say that this team would be one and three on this trip, I think. Yeah. And so if you can get more because you've made it back to a tie for seventh, um, you're trying to get yourself in the best possible standing. And to me, that still is getting in the top six. If it's not there, then you want to be seven, not there. It's eight. Like right. you're, you're just trying to have your best possible outcome here. And improving to seven, like again, if it started today, they're hosting Phoenix in a play-in, and that would be difficult. But you'd be hosting them, and if you lost that, you would host the winner of the Lakers. War. you'd have two chances to get right. in. Um, but a, a little bit of uh, work here and some help, you could be six. 
Or at, five, even. As it is right now, the Kings are one game behind the Pelicans and the Mavericks. Uh, the Pelicans, as of right now, they, they have the the, the uh, tiebreaker. They'll have the tiebreaker, right? Yes. And the Kings, as of this second, actually have the tiebreaker on the Mavs. They're tied 2-2. However, the Kings are a half game better in conference wins than the Dallas Mavericks. The Mavericks have one more loss. So that would be very, very interesting to follow. They are tied uh, with Phoenix. And what do we say about Phoenix? Um, there's a fifth game. There's a so fifth game. Two, two. So this game against Phoenix is going to decide the tiebreaker. Yeah, game 81. And the other uh-huh. one I don't know is if somehow, some way, the Kings, Pelicans, and Mavericks all tie. <sighs> I say or a three or four way tie. I don't know how they do I, I, I know how they should. Yeah. Alphabetical order of, of uh, team nickname. Okay. Mm-hmm. Dance off. Kings, Mavericks, Pelicans is how it would go. K, then M, then P. Yeah. That's actually, I think, how it, it works. I think it is. I read the rules. Here's how it works. Everybody has to walk the dinosaur. Yes. And then whoever finishes. Whoever's we have dinosaur Whoever opens the door. Exactly. Whoever opens the door and then gets on the floor. Yeah. Luca wouldn't win. He won't right. dive. When we come back, what to watch going on uh, the Western Conference Top 10 in action. And uh, how about some Major League Baseball series is a continue. Also clean up some stuff we need to clean up. We'll do all that next. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry, you never have to miss them again. Check out SackdownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SackdownSports.com. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges to your tax debts daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you'll owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm. Optimus tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. For a precision-crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at AcuraOfStockton.com. Acura of Stockton will buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and AcuraOfStockton.com. A toast to our new college grad who fills us with so much joy, almost as much as when we're in our RV. Oh, the world is your oyster, kiddo, and ours too. Now that we're covered with Progressive, Dad and I can hop in our RV anytime we want. Might even splurge on a retractable awning. Oh, look out. (laughs) Sorry, what was I talking about? Protect your loved one with an RV policy from Progressive. Take as little as four minutes to see what you could save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she just launched her new side gig, a true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. Golf to Go is brought to you by the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Here's Frank LaRosa. Everywhere you look, someone is always telling you how to get more fit. While we may feel like we're fit, we can all get fitter. Maybe you have a favorite pair of jeans that don't fit anymore, or maybe you just want to lower your blood pressure a bit. Here are a few suggestions. Walk. Walk more. Walk more rounds, walk to work, walk to the store, walk the dog, but walk. Strengthening the most important muscles in the golf swing, your glutes. Even Tiger couldn't fire his. Buy a foam roller and knead the muscles of your body three times a week, especially your hips. You can do this while you watch television. Eat more vegetables and potato chips and carrot cake don't count. 
Stabilize the muscles of your core by raking leaves or sweeping floors and eliminate soda, especially the ones with artificial sweeteners. Maybe you'll be able to take a little bigger turn. Maybe you won't get tired around the 15th hole. Either way, you're going to be much happier with yourself. That's your golf to go. I'm Frank LaRosa. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Cell Sacramento will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T level is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Get your T levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They're in Midtown in the Cal Sutter Medical Building and also offer telemedicine appointments. Plus, with free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation today. Call Revive Men's Health at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566 or visit revivementshealth.com. This segment is brought to you by Aztec Solar. Skip the sales pitch. Calculate your solar savings at yourpowersavings.com. He has very good sources and he just kind of tells it as it is and gets to the point. Jason Ross. He has a whole lot of pretty smart things to say. He's good at what he does. On Sacktown Sports. Well, if, if Alan Styles and uh, Chris Watkins, who make up Styles and Watkins, the fastest growing show. So, I. Uh, also, by the way, am I weird for. Yes. Like, I'm rooting for Michael Penix Jr. Okay. The next time I read his name on the screen and don't at first think it says something completely different than Penix, the next time will be the first time. And it kind of annoys me, and it's not his fault. It's not his fault that I'm a four-year-old. But my mind is reading the letters, and then, surprise, it's an X. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that ending before. I just don't know if I can do a whole career talking about him. I hope he does well. Yeah, me too. Uh, Western Conference, uh, top 10 right now in action. Not right now, but, you know, later tonight. The uh, Lakers and Wizards. Go Wiz. Go Wiz. You know the Kings. Washington beat Milwaukee yesterday. I saw that. What is going? What the heck is going on? Is it what's going on with Milwaukee? Is it what's going on with the suddenly hot Wizards? <laughs> I love hot Wizards. Yes. <laughs> Get off. Dumbledore. Uh. I was looking for the Frankie thing. Um, I've got some notes for you, Jason, here. Uh, first off, we talked about this earlier. The Kings have allowed 112 points or under in 12 of their last 13. They've held five of those opponents to under 100, which had only been done five times in the 62 games leading into the stretch. That's from our very own Chris Watkins, so it might be right. Um, three players. DeMontis Sabonis at 26, Nikola Jokic at 23, and Luka Doncic at 20. Three players have had 20 or more triple doubles in a single season. That is the first time in NBA history that's happened. But when you talk about Sabonis, Jokic, and Doncic, one of those kids is different from the other. One of those kids is not an all-star. Yes. And if you want a hint as to who, it's the one that actually leads. That has the most. In triple doubles. And double doubles. And double doubles. What I was looking at was, I think the Kings have won. Uh, they've actually done pretty well. What they've won ten of fifteen, I think it is, something like that. I saw this stat put out earlier. Uh, two, four, six, eight, yeah, ten of their last fifteen. They're one, two, three, yeah, ten and five. But here's what's so weird about this team, dude. And actually, if you if you say they've won ten of fifteen, they've also won ten of sixteen. If you go with the sixteen as well, which you don't need to, of those losses. Five of the six have been at home. Mm. The one road win they have, or the road one loss. road loss they have, the Wizards. Oh. It's so weird. Yeah. They lost at home to Chicago, Houston, the Knicks, Dallas, and Dallas. 
but they've won every other game but one, and that one they lost was against the stupid Wizards, who did beat the Bucks yesterday. Yeah, and hopefully beats the Lakers hopefully. today. Let's go. Huge Wiz fan tonight. Yes. Uh, the Thunder at Celtics. This would be a fun one. Mm-hmm. The Thunder have kind of been a little... At times, speaking of the Kings, they've been a little Jekyll and Hyde, but this is a good little litmus test. Yeah, didn't uh, played in beat in his return yesterday. Didn't have SGA in the game, so that was a factor, but we'll see if he plays tonight. Yeah, that'll be very interesting if he does play tonight. If he doesn't, uh, I, well, Vegas doesn't think he's going to at least. And if they do, holy gosh, Boston favored by nine and a half wow. uh, against the uh, either Western leading or close to Western. Yeah, leading. Think, half team back. Western leading. Uh, Thunder, who are a half game back of the uh, defending champion Denver Nuggets, tied with the Minnesota Timberwolves, also a half game back. Speaking of those Timberwolves, they host the Toronto Raptors. And the one we're really looking at here, Cavs at Suns. Can Cleveland eke out a win in the Valley of the Sun? Uh, when they you, played last night. They, uh, the, the, uh, the, the Cavs? Yeah, they yeah. smoked the Jazz. They smoked the Jazz, and hopefully uh, there was a lot of people... Uh, Mr. Bickerstaff sat a few. Um, I don't think uh, Donovan Mitchell played, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I don't think so either. No, he didn't. Karis LeVert led them with 26. Uh, the, the 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 Cleveland Cavaliers. Voof. Remember, remember when they went on that giant win streak? I think they won nine in a row. They were 35 and 16. Jason. Mm-hmm. They are now 46 and 30. That's what, 11, 11 and, 14? and 14 since that nine-game losing streak. They uh, they beat Utah last night and then lost by 29 in Denver the game before, won against Philly the game before, lost in Charlotte the game before, won at home against Charlotte the game before, and then had a three-game losing streak before that in the middle of a four of five losing streak. So Cleveland has been yeah. very – they need Donovan Mitchell. Well, look at that. the – you know, we've been talking, obviously, about the West and concerns with the Kings here and where they could finish. Look at the East standings. Like, from – it's about four through eight. And, like, Philly won yesterday, but they're eight. Yeah. And, you know, are they going to be in the play-in with Miami or Indiana or the Knicks or Magic? Like, that's none of that's settled either. No, it looks like uh, the Bulls and Hawks will be the 9 and 10 yeah. almost certainly. Yes. Yeah, so there's that. Then you have – then it's interesting. You have the Sixers at 8. Uh, they are a game and a half back of the Heat, who are a game back of the Pacers, who are a game and a half back of the Knicks and Magic, and those guys are a game and a half back of the Cavs. And their Cavs are a game and a half back of the Bucks, And then everybody's trailing Boston. And then everybody's, yeah, the Bucks are trailing Boston by 12. Whereas the Rockets are now a full three games behind the Warriors. That's probably going to do it for them. Yeah. Warriors are one and a half behind the Lakers for nine. The Lakers are one and a half. This is without tiebreakers. One and a half behind the Suns and Kings for seven and eight. The Kings and Suns are one game behind the Mavs and Pelicans for five and six, and they're two back of the Clippers for four. And then, of course, you got the three-way war between, you know, everyone's focusing on four through ten, but you got a three-way uh, going between the Nuggets, Timberwolves, and Thunder right now for the one seed in the division. One of those teams is going to be the three seed. Mm-hmm. And thank God we don't do the stuff that we used to do. Remember, can you can you believe there was actually a time in the NBA where you could be 500 yet yet conceivably be the third seed because you won your division. Right. Thank God we don't do that yeah, anymore. You're right. Uh, in baseball, the Giants take on the Dodgers, looking to, you know, get a win. Uh, tough yesterday. Mm-hmm. They, uh, they, they probably should have. That was a pretty darn good chance for them to win. Uh, and speaking of needing wins, that's a 7-10. And uh, speaking of needing wins, uh, the Oakland A's. It's a, a day game in Oakland. There Are you go. going? I'm not going to. I'm not no. either. Uh, the Red Sox. But and, I would like to go to the Coliseum this year. And the A's. Uh, yeah, same. I will. You not should. on a protest day, no. even though you could argue every day is a protest day. But, like, if there's stuff officially planned, I don't want to do that. You should do, uh, you should do my trick. Go uh, go sit behind the go sit behind the plate. Do a, TV time? Yeah. yeah. I'll bet you there's a Yankee game available. Maybe. Go sit behind the plate and watch Aaron Judge. You can literally hear the whoosh of Aaron Judge's swings. I'm not joking. You yeah. really can literally, like... Because he war- he warms up like in the on deck, and yeah. he'll come over and he does like the four swings in a row right by where you're sitting, and it's like <laughs> <laughs> sounds like the spray thing. <laughs> He's a very powerful man. Yes, Native is. Sacrament. That's Aaron Judge swinging. Yeah. Native Sacrament and Aaron Judge. We'll take a break when we come no. back. Yes. No. Yes. 
No. Why do you say no? Because he was born here. He didn't live here. That means he's a native. If you're born there, you're a native, Dingle. No, you have to grow up there. Where is this? Is this in the Verlod rules of nativity? No, he's a (laughs) native. We're going to court on this. I'm filing. Does he say when you go and introduce? Of course he does. Oh. Of course he, oh. he doesn't say that. But if you're born here, you're a native. So, okay. Chris hey, will defend himself. He is his own lawyer. Let me ask you this. Unless you're on a military base, Chris, if you were. Oh, looks like you got your answer. Oh, hold on a second. If you, if you were born in Luxembourg, could you run for president of the United States? Uh, Well, since, what's his name? John McCain was born in Panama, and he ran for president. John McCain was born in Panama. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're born elsewhere, unless you're on a military base, you can't run for president. There's some loophole you're not telling me about. Because that's like in the Constitution, Holmes. Somewhere. Article 3. Subset B. Subset B. He's a native. No. Yes, no. Crosstalk with Styles and Watkins, who apparently making fun of me for looking like that ace pitching coach. Oh, they were? Yeah, apparently they were. I see that on the text line. <laughs> <laughs> At two, Brutuses. We'll talk to them, and we'll do celebrity birthdays next. You're home of the Kings. It's Herter. He's been hot. He fires. He's still hot. Kevin Herter from downtown has a 15-point first quarter. Sacktown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave inviting you to make the switch to electric this spring and save big with American Energy. Stay ahead of those spiking energy bills this summer with up to nine grand in rebates on a new ultra high efficiency comfort system. American Energy is providing huge rebates from SMUD as well as spring specials by installing one of many incredibly efficient AC options available to you right now. Get rid of those fluctuating gas bills in the winter and switch to year round all electric with American Energy. Let them perform a free in-home energy efficiency analysis and see where they can help you save for the warmer months ahead. These guys are the best. Been serving the greater Sacramento area since 1981. A-plus from the Better Business Bureau. Learn more by calling 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990. Call 916-520-9990 now. Dirty Heads, live in concert, every single day, Friday, April 12th, 7.30 p.m., the venue in Thunder Valley, the special guest, the elevators, on sale at thundervalleyresort.com, don't miss Dirty Heads Live, rescue me. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art support could be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are gonna function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. It's Coach Doug Christie here to remind you, if you want a deal that's a slam dunk, go see the winning team at Folsom Lake Ford. Folsom Lake Ford is your truck headquarters with all your American-made favorites, like America's best-selling F-Series, F-150s, and Super Duties, or spacious new Explorers and Expeditions, plus a huge selection of Broncos and Bronco Sports, all in stock now at Folsom Lake Ford. In the Folsom Auto Mall, you can buy any new Ford with zero damage on approved credit, save big with low interest finance rates, and Folsom Lake Ford always pays top dollar for your trade. Check out the huge selection of inventory online at FolsomLakeFord.com or stop by the dealership to see their most recent arrivals. Looking for something special? Give them a call and tell them Doug Christie sent you. They'll help you out. Hurry to Folsom Lake Ford in the Folsom Auto Mall, your trusted dealer, my trusted dealer for over 35 years and counting. It's time for the news of the day. 
the latest headlines, the biggest stories, hard-hitting analysis. Yeah, this is none of those things. And now, here's Carmichael, Dave, and Jason Ross. Hey! <laughs> you guys looked at each other. You knew you were going to do it. 100%. Come on. You knew you were going to do it. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, oh my gosh, you're looking that up? Just say it, because Chris always gets me. Uh, John McCain's dad was an admiral oh in the Navy gosh. and was stationed in Panama when McCain was born, going back to me saying a military base. You liar. Washington that, wasn't born in America. Well, that's a good point. That's right. I don't think Adams was either. So Probably not even Jefferson. Um, let's go to the tax line here. Um, morning, Dave. Morning, Mr. Ross. Not sure if you guys listened in on Styles and uh, Watkins and all that yesterday, but, man, did they do my guy Dave wrong. <laughs> they had a take on the A's and mentioned that Dave looks like Scott Emerson, the pitching coach for the A's. <laughs> Dead on. <laughs> That was not us. It was a no, caller. A caller yeah, said we are, that. We are, did, it, was, it was the same caller that yeah. called us today. And said yes. It. Yeah. I looked it up. It's I, you, it was that I've one picture. Better. That yeah. one picture. Seen better. You, Don't worry, Dave. Drew Timmy. Me, Drew Timmy. You know Drew what? Timmy. I just remember, too. No. There's a picture. No. No. Yeah. There's a picture that, uh, God, he used to pitch for the Braves or something, man, not that long ago. That I Even I was actually like, <laughs> ah, actually. That kind of yeah, Drew Timmy. I literally had to tell. I don't think so. Did I tell money on the air? You did. You on the air, please like, don't you, draft him in the second round. If you draft Drew Timmy, then we're I not. I don't think so. You don't. We're not. Uh, yeah. I think it's just the facial hair. This is the one I got. Yeah, that's what I got all the time. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I don't, don't think so. But every time yeah. Gonzaga player was, like, oh, David playing for Gonzaga. <laughs> How you doing? Great. We're just really happy to to be the flagship. Oh you yeah. Know? And to talk kings. Wait, is this like, uh, I feel like this is one of those things where my wife's like, I really think it's funny when you, and then, but she doesn't think it's funny. <laughs> Are you doing the reverse thing? No. Oh, you, okay. You no, we you. just, you know, everybody that wants to hear about kings mm -hmm. and not, you know, mm -hmm. adventures in other places, just hang around. Well, because, like, you know, like, it's... Why do I feel seen right now? <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's okay when other people do it, but it would like, definitely seen. be a problem if I did it. So, oh, oh. Yeah. I knew. Can I just say this has been married for 17 years? I knew there was an agenda in what you said. I smelled it. I have you had it. an agenda. I just know you had an agenda coming in here when you said mm -hmm. that. I knew it. I just know that there are a lot of people on these airwaves on YouTube and, yeah. you know, to to want to maybe go somewhere else where you're going to hear about other teams. Mm. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? When we talk Kings here. You're taking shots at somebody, and I want to find out who it is off the air. No. No shots. I we love just, it. That's why, we're, that's why we grow. That's why we talk Kings. We don't, we, don't wear other, we don't wear other teams and, yeah. and show off. Yeah. And do things like that. Yeah. At all. How are you doing, Chris? Do you have anything <laughs> right. you, you want to get off right. your chest? No, I just... I'm, my man Shug Knight over here, man. Wow. <laughs> for right behind him. I, I mean this as a compliment, too, but has anybody ever told you that when you walk, you look like you're literally walking out of a Nordstrom catalog? Every <laughs> You really do. I'll take and it. And I mean that in the nicest way. It. like a, Not a Nordstrom rack. Though. Well, no. I said uh, Nordstrom. Nothing wrong I said with Nordstrom the rack. rack. Yeah. Nothing wrong with the rack the at rack all. rack is great. Buddy Boris, when uh, we were teenagers and super Trump? broke, uh, he would not be here. He would, uh, you know, it was from the uh, Hampton Keys. <laughs> he would, he would buy shoes at Nordstrom when things were good in the real estate business, and then we were broke and eating chicken legs. Like literally, that's what we do because they're cheap. He would take shoes that he wore for like straight up two years that were like worn in the soles and return them to Nordstroms. You know, and they give that's you terrible. and they give you a full refund. They do, and I never really full refund. Wow, two years later, what the I hell was that it. all about? I just, I just, real quick, yeah, I just, real quick, real quick and we then I know we got to get to You're celebrity still British. No, the, no, the only thing, the only thing I just wanted to say is that <laughs> there are a lot of people out here yeah. that claim that, that they are just number one, we're kings, oh, God. all God. kings this, all kings that, but you accept a double agent. You accept a double agent. I just, okay. No, I ain't part of it. No, not me. Okay. I'm, All right. I'm, I mean, I'm, the, I'm the one that gets the letters. <laughs> you you get do letters. get a lot of letters. There's a rule in radio 
that I will not go into because I just ran it through my head and it doesn't turn out well. <laughs> There's a rule in radio that you should always do your live reads when it's time to leading into a birthday segment. And I'm going to follow that right now. Mm -hmm. But before I do, <laughs> anything else? I'm, the floor I'm is yours, now. dude. No, 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 no. I'm okay. good now. <laughs> Next four hours. <laughs> Next four hours, please. Yes. Grab a seatbelt. I, I love everybody. I'm just, you know. Alan yeah, said he has multiple things today. I'm just here so I don't get fined. That was just one. Birthdays are meant to be spent with family and friends, and nothing brings family and friends together better than Carabao cookies. There were one last night. They early on. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Who was the uh, crumble cookie giver? Was it Zubach? Yeah, might have been. been. Yeah. Hey, Vicka Zubach, you're my friend. Jingle. You said you're the jingle <laughs> no, guy. That's a good one, though. Yeah. Thank you. Who's turning what today, Jason? Uh, let's find out. Happy birthday to Eddie. Murphy Eddie Allen Johnson. Johnson. Correct. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Ooh. Ed Murphy. Got a picture with him a few years ago as he was walking out of a bathroom. Out of focus. I needed that Google phone. That is a true. I should have saved that for true, 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 true truths and a lie. True truth. And unlike you, <laughs> we'll remember because we're listening. Yeah, yes. that's, I that's was right. listening. Hey there. Who's the birthday of? Uh, Eddie Murphy okay. is 61. The greatest that's, comedian of all time, probably, in my opinion. That's probably good. Edward, 62. Edward Murphy. 65. 64. We have no correct answer, but we have a tie between the 62 63. and 64. 63 today. Oh, wow. Happy birthday to Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. Correct. Is there another Alec? Um, no, Guinness, but he's dead. Baldwin. Oh, he's he's four now. Alec, Alec Baldwin. Alec, is, thick. Uh, Alec Baldwin, 70. <laughs> Alec, Alec Thick. <laughs> hey, he's not growing. 68. Right? <laughs> Uh, who is it again? That's Alex a sentence. Uh, oof. Alex. Uh, uh, <laughs> 72. <laughs> he is 62. He is in some trouble. Yeah. Also, by the way. Like, Wait, I don't know. I think it's a tie again. 66. Ah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday to, uh, let's go with, uh, oh, Wayne Newton. Hey! Oh God! I just, I just saw Wayne Newton on TV <laughs> last weekend. CNN has this uh, history of Vegas thing, yeah. and all of a sudden Wayne Newton popped up, and he looks did like. We, did we see him in Vegas? He looks younger than you'd think. He did. He his was body out there, is yeah. younger, huh? His body is younger. Wayne's had some work. Done. Yeah. I've seen Wayne Newton line. Wayne, in Wayne S. Allen has had some work done down there in Vegas. I would say he is a friend. I would say he is eighty-three. I mean, he looks at it. <laughs> I, I'm going to go, man, 85. I'm saying 89. I could see it being like 90. Yeah. yeah. 87. Correct answer is 82. So the closest. Yes. I, he looks good. He Happy birthday look. to former king, Frank Mason. Yes. The former Thomas. Did he win it? Did he win a national championship? Yeah, okay. Kansas, 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 right? Yeah. Like Mason yeah. Kansas, Esquire. Um, it, it's almost like the Kings have a history of smaller guards that do well yeah. in the NCAA tournament. Wow, shaded name I mentioned. You're all over the place. No, no. I mean, geez, he had a no, great game saying. last night. 14 points. <laughs> he did ball out. He was uh, my dog of the day. Yeah. Oh, oh by the way, we got to run this by you guys. How do you uh, How do you like this? Because we have two names. So we have two names. You choose. So with Herder and Monk out, okay. we've decided to give another – yeah, the defensive player of the game and all that stuff. We're giving out an award for whoever steps up the most in their place. Now, here's your choices. I came up with Malevin, the Malevin Hurtock Award because that's Malik, Kevin, Herder, Monk. All right, so the Malevin Hurtock Award. Okay. Or the Velvet King Award. Well. It's obviously Velvet King. Yeah, Come on, like, dude. <laughs> Why are you rolls thinking? off the tongue a lot. No, that's Malik, Malik and Arabic. Arabic. Uh, Malik is uh, actually King is Malik and Arabic. I don't know if you do that or not. Yeah, the Velvet wow. King. Yeah, uh, that works. I mean, yeah, that exactly. really works. What was the question? Frank Mason. Uh, he, Velvet. Uh, Frank Mason's 27. Ooh. Yeah. 28. I think you're right. Yeah, I actually I think, think you're right. right. I think you're right. He's not 26. I'm going to say 29. I'm pretty sure he's 28 or 28. Because he played all four years um, in Kansas. Still no great answers today. The He's not 30. He is 30. Wow. No oh, way. Yes. Wow. Happy really birthday MVP. Birthday to Michael. Straight hand. Oval the candy. Thick. Wow. Wait, what? no, you're Joe. Michael. Oh, oh my God. God. What was the <laughs> random one yesterday I got that you were like, how? 
Roman that's random. That is way yeah. worse. UOP is Michael all the way Candy, the Candy Man. Is uh, Candy is uh, he's forty three. You think he'd be older, but yeah. he's not. Mm. I'll say forty five. I think he'd be older, say. but he's not. Oh, we yeah. have a whole day without I do anybody think getting a Forty six. Pick up sticks. I, I will not. I will <laughs> not pick up anything. Watkins or me? You. You. Uh, forty four. Hey, shut up, Nate. You did not get a correct answer all day. <laughs> 49. Wow. Nice. Is that it? I don't want one more. Just uh, one wait. more try. Wait. Wait. Into this. <laughs> Jail Sonnen. Jail what? Jail, Jail Sonnen. Oh, Jail Sonnen. Amanda Bynes, no. Jail Sonnen, Adam Scott, Ari Spears. Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes? Uh, Amanda Bynes yes. is 49. He's 40. No, no, Jail Sonnen. no she's 38. Yeah, Amanda Bynes is probably 36. 36. Oh, I'm thinking Claire Who is it? 38. Okay, correct answer. For this guy, that guy, that guy, and this guest, and all that. Lay the beam. And uh, Sal's walk is next. Hey! Hey, 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 Somewhere to be. Sacramento Kings basketball with you. A 